Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari 2600 and 7800 games <laughs> broadcasting at 60 frames a second, mm -hmm. coming at you on a very special time on a Friday because it's the holiday. Yay! So, noon, welcome European viewers <laughs> and others whose time zone works well yeah. with this time. Yeah, because yeah, we're at noon. Uh, instead of 6 p.m., our time. Um, we're going to be playing some 7800 games today. Yay. We've got four. One of them is kind of early, so it's, it, it won't take too long. Okay. So really th three, three full Three and, and a bit. Three and a half. Three and a bit. Yeah, three yeah. and a bit. <laughs> Fair uh, we're going to be playing Worms from 2010. Mm -hmm. Into the Void, uh, a brand new uh, work in progress, newish. Uh, Dungeon Stalker from 2015, mm. and Get Lost from 2013. So nice. we're diving into some archives some of the, the 7800, yeah, yeah. um, because there are a lot to play. Mm. Um, and we kind of just started doing 7800 in the past year mm. around, and so there's a lot to catch up with. And uh, we started a little late because of bad cats. <laughs> uh, were the, they bad cats? Yeah, we yeah. use a laptop here to monitor oh, the chat yeah. while yeah. we're playing. And there's the power cable has been a little bit gnawed on by this guy. Yeah. He likes HDMI cables and apparently the power cable, like a hundred dollar power cable to Ugh. the laptop. He's already chewed through one already. This yes. is the second this one. This is number two. And we've ordered another one. Yeah. So as soon as the power disconnects, the laptop the shuts laptop's down. The laptop's going to shut down. Because it's so. not even charging anymore. It's no. just like Barely maintaining. holding on. Bad cats. Ugh. Bad cats. Bad cats. Bad cats. Yeah, it would be a great game to have uh, a game called Bad Cats. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers. Alan the Fur, Armscar, Coder, Cafe Man, 2D, Canadian Tender, Catalogs, Charles and Chuck, Coconut, Dianoi, Dan, ABC, Drexel, Emmy Dan, Fat Beavis, new name. Mm. Welcome to the list. Great Offender, Ground Trooper, Ogier Rapper, Johnny WC, One Year Out of Jupiter Storm, Carl G, Kev Kelly, Croco, 2600, Leo the Low, Mark Space, Inc., Metal Atari, McNews, Miss Command, Memk Smith, Mr. Figs, Mr. Zarner, Whoopa, Muddy Funster, Nathan Storm, Pack Rat, VG, Quahog, RC70, Repentless, VG, <sighs> Ricardo Pimp, Six Sweet, Smitty B, Socrates, Spice, Where S. Ramirez, D Train, Welshman89, Tiki Dan K, and Teet Foes, Trek, MD. You can see all their wonderful oh, really supportive is. names beside Tanya yeah, here. Yeah, that's right. And you can get your name on that list too if, uh, by supporting the show. By linking your Amazon Prime to your Twitch Prime, and it's free. Yes, it's free. Yeah. And you get your name on there. Um, and make sure you follow, subscribe, and link, click like on all the things. You get alerted to interesting and great new shows that are coming up that I put up on those things. Uh, including the last episode, <laughs> where we took a look at... Um, where is it? We took a look at this, the movie cart, <laughs> where we played Star Wars off of a cartridge on the 2600. Insane. Insane. Um, Insane. It was on, uh, we, we broadcast it on March 30th. Yes. Um, and people still went, oh, April Fool's joke. What yeah. is this? <laughs> what is this silliness that they're talking about playing a movie on a 2600. No. Nope. It's a joke. Yeah. Yeah. The uh, number of people who thought it wasn't real. Yeah. Is insane. Um, but it so, is. <laughs> let me read some of the comments that people left on various postings all mm. over the place. Wait, wait, wait. This has to be a pre April Fool's joke. Is that a thing? Like, is there a April Fool's April week? Fools? No. Is there like five it's days not how of it April? Works. The five, di five <laughs> fools, five days of fools? Yeah. I don't know. Uh, somebody said, uh, have you seen this witchcraft? Is this an April Fool's? Um, and somebody said, Christ, are we starting this bullshit already? Signing off the internet until Friday. <laughs> <laughs> so no matter what, uh, like I posted links to videos. He has the source code online. You can compile it yourself and, and prove to yourself it's not an April Fool's no. joke. Yeah. Um, and then on the funny and enthusiastic side of things. Yeah. Statari Wars. <laughs> All of Star Wars playing from a cartridge on an Atari 2600. Um, the way that Lucas originally meant it to be seen. <laughs> yes. Uh, Perifractic would be proud. And uh, Perifractic is a very calm, talking, 
uh, YouTube uh, pers yes, personality. Yes, we, we watch them, yeah. Watch them from time to yeah. time. Uh, he mostly talks about uh, C64 games. Yes. And apparently he uh, was an actor in a number of uh, Star Wars films. Oh, that's cool. And voiceover nice. for some Star Wars. Nice, nice, nice. Um, somebody said, good to finally see it in narrow screen format, <laughs> as Lucas intended. Yes. It was like, you know. Um, uh, somebody said, difficulty switch A, hand shoots first. Difficulty switch B, Greedo shoots first. <laughs> so you can just slide it back and forth and select your version. Um, and then the criticism, of course, from Reddit. The cesspool that Reddit is. Yeah, oh, good times. times, good times. Somebody said, the aspect is way off. The aspect ratio. Oh. Uh, somebody says, I'm pretty skeptical. There was a minimum pixel size on Atari. That looks to be better than that. Music is obviously external since Atari didn't support anything like that. Okay. Uh, <laughs> went, all, went to all that work to watch it on a fucking flat screen HD TV. Ugh. Face palm times infinity. <laughs> oh my god. So, yeah. No matter what you do, no matter what kind of technological breakthrough or how good it is, or if you're the first one to ever do it, there's always going to be somebody that's going to go, ugh. It's not good enough. <laughs> Ugh, it's terrible. Of course. Uh, uh, oh, where are you on Facebook? No, I, it, this was on this was on Reddit. These were these feedback. Uh, fortunately, Facebook was quite good. Oh yeah. Um, it's just the when you get out into the general population that can it, and outside of the community. Yeah. It, well, everyone has people has people start criticizing things they don't really know about. They everyone wants to throw their opinion in the yeah. in the in the soup that is, as you say, the cesspool of Reddit. So you <laughs> yes. know you, you you're yeah. gonna hear everything. So um, yeah. and of course the next logical step somebody asked about on both in, an Instagram post and in the Atari Age forums. Mm. Um, so here's the next question: With something like this, how far are we from Dragon's Lair on the twenty six hundred? Yeah, because Dragon's Lair was essentially a, a laser disc. Uh, branch a branching laser disc depending on what input you pressed mm. and they made it for uh, DVD players that you just press left right up down like menu options mm. um, and of course the developer Rob uh, responded almost immediately with what I'm about to show you <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me get this going Lair, the fantasy adventure where you become a valiant knight on a quest to rescue the fair princess from the clutches of an evil dragon. So on the left <laughs> you the is, is the original. Finding his um, and uh, on the right is his uh, encoded version on the 26. Very nice. Like he did nice. this almost immediately. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now whether it's playable. <laughs> Because you have to respond, I think, if you knew the game really well... You could, you would know what you're responding you to. You'd probably know yeah. what you're responding to. It's not it's not terrible, right? No. But some is a bit mushy. Yes. So he may need to, like... He did say that uh, animation doesn't compress Very particularly well, well in mm. the way he's, he's set it up. Because there's wow. multiple ways to compress video. And some are better for some applications. But... It's not bad for no, a first no, pass, that's no. for sure. And I mean, if you knew the game there, you'd be like, oh, press to the right, press to the right, or whatever yeah. it is. I just die immediately on Dragon's Lair <laughs> in the arcade because it's all about memorization. And that, wow, it, uh, memorization games are not for me. Um, a crossbow said, that would still be playable. Now we just need an interface for it to play. Yeah. Yeah, because... Um, he does have joystick input for his player uh and it uh but it brings up a menu so he would did have to make a new interface where it has branching to different parts of the video uh depending on what your input is mm -hmm. and i looked up the information and dragon's layer is only 22 minutes long like, like with the actual everything video. like oh, okay. everything all yeah. the branches all the deaths everything yeah. it's 22 minutes Wow. So it's much, much, much less running time than what he's already done. Yeah. So the storage it's is not, not the problem. Movie. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's it's getting um, it's getting the branching done. 
and you know you mm. die it goes to this mm. it remembers where it needs to go next so there's a lot of programming in behind it that somebody would need to do mm. but the basics are there if somebody mm. wants to take up you know he's got the source code ready so mm. there you go so he he pretty much encoded <laughs> a ton of it already yeah well two minutes yeah so I thought that was pretty funny. Mm. But he's already on it. Um, mm. And I would like everybody to wish Thomas Yench uh, good luck at Revision 2021, um, where his game Vroom is entered for uh, the game competition. Um, so that is happening this weekend. Uh, so you can see the uh, timetable here. His deadline is tomorrow at noon, I believe, okay. for submitting. And uh, he, it's the competition is on at um, seventeen fifteen on s Sunday, April fourth. So, if anybody doesn't know what revision is, it's described as a demo party held yearly on Easter since two thousand eleven, okay. usually in Saarbrücken, the s state capital of Saarland, located in southwest Germany. Mm. Um, so, and they've already started today. Today was their first day. Nice. Um, so uh. let's see. There it is. Yep. Uh, and you can, and you, you can watch it, um, mm. remotely this year mm. because people can't actually go there. So, um, very good luck to Thomas Yench. And he yeah. actually suggested that the movie cart be entered into uh, the miscellaneous category oh, i think oh cool um i think that's a really good idea <laughs> hi hello <laughs> um so uh i made a t-shirt a new t-shirt here it is on t public um i've been looking for a good 7800 shirt for a long time mm. And 7800 doesn't get the attention or love it should. It's an excellent console. Mm -hmm. and It's very stylized, too. I always like the look of the 7800. Yeah, with the, the metal piece and the rainbow metal. across. The, yeah. The rainbow stripe. And I've looked for a t-shirt. And I there's one. And it's, oh, okay. All it is is a, a literal picture of a 7800. Fair enough, yeah. It's just stuck on a t-shirt. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. No effort whatsoever put into it. Yeah. Um, so when... Something doesn't exist, and you want it to exist, you pretty much have to make it yourself. Mm -hmm. So this is my storefront. Um, so here's, along with the three other shirts we have up there, the mm -hmm. Rage Reset and the two versions of Zero Page Homebrew, one with the kitties. Um, I made this the other day. Um, it's a kind of rainbow sound wave looking uh, version of 7800. Like yep. And it's got the shiny metal look to it. Nice. Uh, with a little lens flare on it. Nice, so. nice, nice, nice. Yeah. You can pick your color and the yeah. style. I mean, that's nice about, what is it, Tee Public? Yeah. They give it, you lots of options. Lots of options. Yeah. And their shirts are fine. Yeah, yeah. You know, oh, yeah, yeah. They're, they're not silk screened. They're print on demand. Yes. So that's the level. But it's at a high level of print on yeah. demand. Yeah. Good, good detail. Yeah. Gosh. So chrome. So chrome. <laughs> now... When I put up another shirt with the cats on it, mm. I put the word Atari because the cat's name is Atari and it got taken down. Yeah, they didn't like... So the number 7800 is just a number, right? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. didn't say Atari anywhere and I can't really put Atari on the shirt. Because they freak Atari... out. They freak out when you, when you use the yeah. word Atari. So, yeah. So I didn't describe it on the page with the word Atari mm. and I didn't put Atari on the shirt because that's that's a brand and they're still yeah. active. They are. Doing they're their still thing. a brand. Someone still yep. owns the Making hotels and it, bitcoins oh, and so weird other weird things. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> so uh, it's on sale for the next uh, one day, one hour, 13 minutes. So yeah. if you want it, it's cheaper right now. You can get different Ooh, shirts and hoodies. Neat. <laughs> yeah, the mug's pretty neat because it goes all the way around because it's a wide design. Yeah. So you get seven oh, eight hundred. That's actually kind of nice. On one yeah. side and the colors on the other. Nice. Yeah, it's wall art if you want. That. <laughs> I don't know why you'd want it on the wall. Uh, yeah. but let's see. There's there's lots of things. Uh, oh, I don't know what a travel mug is. I guess that. There you oh, go. That's oh, not that's not bad because it's black top to bottom. Yeah. Anyway, enough hawking <laughs> merchandise. If you want that, you can get it. Yeah. I just made it because there was. No, seventy eight hundred shirts, and you immediately bought one for yourself. Because I want to wear, yeah. <laughs> I want to wear a seventy eight hundred shirt on yeah. the show, but I can't because yeah. there aren't any. There's just one, and it's terrible. Yeah. 
But now there is one, so you can yeah. get it if you want. It's, it's one of those things, if no one's making it, you might as well make it yourself. So yeah. there you go. Yeah. Uh, I had issues with Cafe Press taking my convention logo items down because of the joystick graphic. Oh, wow. yeah. I can see uh, that. It's all the scraping for internet of copyright violations yeah yeah, yeah. It's, it's so shiny so chrome yeah <laughs> uh same issue with cafe press with the abc shirts because mentioned atari on it so you kind of have to just make it a make it 7800 without making make it, it atari too, 7800 too identifiable yeah. yeah so that's okay um so that's something fun to do and a couple have sold and i bought one immediately of course because that's the whole well, purpose you wanted you wanted one <laughs> and why why restrict it from others yeah exactly <laughs> Um, if you're going to make it for yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Allow other people to have it. Yeah. Um, so it's time to play some games. Okay. Can you give me one quick second? No, I just need to. Yeah. This is I... the wrong time to go. I know. I just need to. It's like, well, I'm not reading things. But I have to set up some graphics here anyway. For the first game we're going to be playing is Worm. And this is actually a game you can buy in the Atari Age store. Oh, I saw it. One second. Is our audio off? Is it? What? Oh, Hello? One second. One second. What audio? Just one second. Oh, on the screen? Uh, oh, the synchronization. I, for some reason, recently it hasn't been, even when I forget. So, let's get into Worm. It is like Snake on... You know, nice. on your phone. Nice. That's a little bit more options than that. Is there like a flip screen option where it just becomes this tiny little square and you can play? Oh, more? that'd be cute. <laughs> Hello. Oh, the batteries are low. Oh no. Do you need batteries? Yes, I do. Okay. Um, if you can get some batteries. One second, people. Yep, it's rebooting. That's okay. I have to manually turn this down. I don't know if I can. I'm going to press the wrong buttons. Here. Okay. Good times. <laughs> so, you play, entertain Me? the peoples. You're going to flip the batteries? And I will flip the batteries. Oh, because cat this is... fluff everywhere. My yeah. goodness, this house. Such is. It's been a while since I played Worm. What am I, what am I doing? Uh, you're getting all the flowers. Okay. The apples are bonus. Don't run into the green mushrooms. Goodness. He's a speedy worm. I, I, oh. I think default Holy is smoke. set so that you have to get 75% of the flowers on each level. Oh. You can set it where you get 0% or all the flowers. You died? Died already. Okay. Okay. Let's read about worm. S. Ramirez says, I think I purchased number two. Uh, of the 7800 shirt collector's edition? What? Oh. <laughs> My collector's edition of the shirt? It's a lot of broccoli. Uh, if I remember correctly, that's not Tanya's game. <laughs> this type of game is not ty your type of game. Oh, I like these games, but yeah. I haven't played a worm game. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm just dying. eating broccoli all over the place here. So, Worm is made by Mark Ball, uh, a.k.a. Groovy B. Uh, this was first posted about February 2nd, 2010. Oh, this uh, build is from March 7th, 2010. Uh, it's a 16K game. Other games made by Mark Ball, Apple Snaffle, Harry's Hen House, Tempest, Wasp, and Worm. Both with uh, exclamation. Not doing so well. No, I keep, I keep, my, my brain is... Uh... Don't touch the green poison things. It moves so fast. Well, that's what makes it challenging. Um... So there are options for extra lives and extra 10 mushrooms, but we'll leave it at default for now. Looks like Nibbler of sorts. Well, there's been lots of games like this where you're into the brick wall. I know I turned and it didn't turn. Mm -hmm. I, I keep messing up because I keep thinking my controls are based on the direction I'm facing, but it's not. Oh, it's, it's absolute direction. It's absolute. Yeah. And that Mi keeps messing me up, so I keep turning the wrong way. So, help Brian the worm. Avoid mushrooms and eat flowers to escape from the garden. If you eat the mushrooms, bump into a wall, or bite yourself, you'll lose a life. Oh, normal speed. So you can slow it down I if you want I can slow it down to start. Turbo speed. Let's do turbo speed. Short body. 
normal body, long body. Let's go short and slow for now because I need to get used to this. And for flowers, you can eat most of them, eat none of them, or eat all of them. Or eat some of them. Okay. Uh, every time you eat a flower, you get a little bit longer until you've eaten your fill. Both the flowers and mushrooms in the, are placed in the gardens randomly. As you progress through the game, you start each level longer than the last, with more flowers to eat and mushrooms to avoid. After a certain number of levels, you begin to get faster, too. Well, that's a lot slower. Well, not a lot slower, but it's, really. it's slower. I still find it challenging. Oh, cool. <laughs> um, I, have a, I have a bad um, habit of not quite hitting the joystick properly. Too. Instead of the normal novice, standard, and expert level, Worm offers the following selectable options. Slow, normal, fast, and turbo speeds. Slow, normal, or short, normal, and long worm lengths. Eat some, 50%. Yeah. Most... Oh my god, you're doing terrible. I know. <laughs> Eat some, 50%, most, 75%, or all, 100% of the flowers. For, for more adjustment, you can also start with an extra two lives using the left difficulty switch, or add an extra ten mushrooms using the right switch. Oh. This has Atari Vox support, which... Um, oh, put on the Atari Vox! I think... There's have a, another have a game good night, playing that also has... Afternoon. Uh, Broccoli? Yeah, it kind of looks like broccoli, doesn't it? Or very moldy mushrooms. Very, very moldy. I like how he sleeps right away. Maybe I'm just hitting it to the side. Is it missing your input? Yes, it is. Well, you're not holding it long enough then. I have to hold it. Or oh, you're... I see. I'm, I'm just hitting it fast because I'm trying to that would um, make more sense. So, uh, he says, prize apples. There are four red apples when you start a level, each worth 100 points. After eight second, seconds, they begin to flash red-orange. When they change to orange, they're worth 50 points each. After a fur further eight seconds, they flash orange-yellow. When they stop flashing, they're worth only 10 points. So they decrease in amounts that they're worth. So you want to get the apples right away. Well, when they flash, yeah. Uh, before they flash. Before like right away, you get the most points. You get 100 points uh, before they start flashing, then 50. And then when they settle down, you only get 10 points. You don't have to eat them to complete the level. However, if you eat them, Brian the Worm grows longer. Oh, my goodness. So uh, there was a contest uh, for high scores in February 2010. And the top score was 23,275. So that's your goal. No, I don't see that happening. I can't get past level one, so. so that's not a good thing. Well, you're getting better, which is what's important. <laughs> it's been a while <laughs> since I played worms. Oh. Hi, bye, D train. <laughs> we'll see. Did you not hear my input? Yeah. Needs to be more intentional your movement. That one no, was just too I, late. I'm, I, I hit it on the diagonal sometimes. I think oh, that's okay. why it doesn't always respond. Uh, it's if I'm doing it too fast. Because it's a four way yeah. game. And I'm guessing it ignores diagonals because I think it so. doesn't know which way you meant. Yeah, because like I'll hit it and I'll be like, it's not going where I want to go. Mm. So there I think I accidentally Atari do. Vox, but I'm going to reload the game because it wasn't plugged in at the beginning. So on my turn, oh. I will. Okay, I'm you go, reboot. you play. Oh, you're going to reboot? Yeah, because I think there's a Tari Vox and there's some voices or at least... Um, Broccoli. Are they mushrooms? They're mushrooms. They're mushrooms, yeah. but they look like... <laughs> they look like broccoli. Too. They look like broccoli. Well, they, we, well, they were... Ugh. Will the color slowly change because of the, you know, 7800? Yes, it yeah. will. <laughs> it will become more brown over time, maybe? So I'm going to put it on normal, normal, sure. and then eat most. Okay. Which is 75%. Yeah. I know it's because I accidentally hit, hit it diagonally. See? Are you not noticing that, too? No. Oh. That one was just too late. Have to be precise. Very precise. And quick. job. Thank you.
Oh, oh I ate myself. Dead. Ate my tail. <laughs> now, does it start all over? It does. Or is it, or is it left with the flowers? Sorry. Does it start all over the level, or I, does it leave mm, you with the flowers that you left? I don't know. I I I have a feeling that because it the, start, got the apples all back. You got all of them back. Yeah. Oh, okay. I think Maybe so. you start from the beginning then. You have to pass the level. It says most. So is it based on time? Most flowers? No. Yeah. Seventy-five percent of the flowers. You have to Damn it! Yeah, it does it does restart everything over. Cute. He does get pretty long. He does. It starts interfering with <laughs> gameplay. <laughs> now the input's fine. Just me. <laughs> me dying. Oh my god. Yeah, I would have to use one of my NES style controllers for this or something with a really short throw. Yeah, mm. definitely a lot faster. Yeah, this one, this joystick has a, I would say medium to long throw. Yeah, I, I, I don't think it's ideal for games like this. You no, want no, something no. that instantly responds. And preferably a four-way joystick. Like I, yeah, and uh, like I said, if you hit, the, if you hit it on the... Um, diagonal which I, I find I'm prone to with that one right um, then yeah it, it's not gonna work out for you <laughs> I don't find it too bad hooray Yay, level two we get to see level two 23,000 oh my goodness is... oh boy no game sound except for your room mic oh sorry I turned it off because it, it was, was making problems. noise before yeah, the game does have sound. It's not much. Thank though. you. There's no, there's no music, but uh... just in the <laughs> title screen. Yeah. I oh my it... god, level two is brutal. Yeah, it looks brutal. This is a game that improves with practice. Oh my god. <laughs> and still no Atari box. Well. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe that was on the cartridge version only? I, I think you're barely getting sound coming through, too. Oh. It's very low. Yeah, every game has its own level. Yes. There's yeah. no standard for 2600 or 7800 no. games. I have to adjust it constantly. Yeah. So, apologize. Let's see if I can do better this time. Now that I've got a little bit of practice. Somebody spending our money? Apparently. Where? <laughs> Closed it down. Oh. Google's taking our money. Mm How -hmm. oh, dare they? For services rendered. <laughs> oh! Uh. This is not an easy game. <laughs> Hopefully you guys can hear it a little bit better now. Turn it up a bit. Uh, <laughs> oh my god. I don't know if I should go for these apples or not. Because it makes me want to make me panic and uh, try and get them as soon as possible. Now well, only 10, so. well if, I mean, if they're convenient, get them. But, yeah. And level two, I think it's just more about surviving. Like, yeah, level two has, is such a tight maze. Oof, good job. Thank you. Sound! Oh, good. Hurrah. Okay. So all the... Oh, my God. And the fact you have to start all over again is brutal. Oh. It's so tight! <laughs> ah! That it is. So, uh, uh, there were 40 of these carts made originally, um, sold for $32, including shipping, um, on March 3rd, 2010. I couldn't find the date where they were put into the Atari Age store. There was no announcement that I could find, but they are in the Atari Age store now. Um, there is an Easter egg. 
Um, and he posted three years afterwards. Nobody found the Easter egg. Oh, really? <laughs> um, you have to enter your name uh, B-U-Z as your initials. I don't know why anybody would think to enter B-U-Z. What does Buzz have to do with anything? Um, I guess his name? Let's play on his name. Um, Groovy B, Buzz. But if you do enter in Buzz as your initials into the high score, you'll get 30 lives every time you start a game. What? So that's quite a cheat. That so is it's, quite it's, a cheat. So it's good if you want to see higher levels. So we might want to try that if you get into the high scores this time. Oh, my goodness. Right into the mushroom. No, I can't. I think the Atari box is only for high scores. Oh, see, I push down. It makes me crazy. I, I, no, I, I, I don't know if it's just I, I. Still no sound. You can hear us, but not that. Somebody said their sound. Yeah, sound good now. If you can't hear us. Seems very tough. <laughs> it, it, it is very. Hey, 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 hey. No. Hey. No. No. Did you enter your initials? No. You didn't do anything. No. You're bad. It's cheaty. <laughs> I want to see at least level three. I don't know if I'll be Well, able... you, can, you can do that. That's fine. I'd like to pass level one, personally. I don't think it's going to happen, but... Ah! <laughs> yeah, I think, I think you're right. A four-way joystick would uh, oh, be would a be lot better. A four-way with a, a short throw. I mean, I don't, I don't have any four-way joysticks. Like, you have to... Ooh, oh, some fancy moves there. Yeah, you have to be so precise. Um, ah! Four-way joysticks have to be made very intentionally because a lot of games use the eight-way. Like, you'd have to, like, make one or buy one. And which wouldn't be a bad thing to, to have on hand. Like, just an, a joystick where you can uh, restrict it to four-way, eight-way or 45 degree diagonally, and you can buy them. Mm. Um, they're usually made for arcade uh, arcade cabinets, and they have little settable things that you can... <laughs> I have to get on the high score to put my... Uh... <laughs> That's true. Oh, it's working for Chris Albright again. Excellent. Oh, this scrolling feels like old pan and scan edits on movies to HD, to SD. Yeah, it's very... Because it's, well, it's not bad, actually. But, yeah, there's, it looks like if you could expand it, it would be, like, widescreen. Because it's not that wide. So you're just going back and forth. And it's so smooth, like, on the pan and scans. Yeah, it, it does look pretty, oh, man. I thought I was one more out. That's funny. Somebody mentioned pan and scan. Yeah. <laughs> That's such a, um, like, deprecated technology. Because <laughs> everything is, is widescreen right now, mm -hmm. now, right? You're done. I know. I'm not even on the, <laughs> the wall to put my initials in. Get a high enough score to put your initials in, then you can get yeah. 30 lives. Because we need to try that at least. I was just playing Animal Crossing before we... Uh... <laughs> I thought I heard something. Oh, I pressed down. <laughs> yeah, it's bunny day weekend. Eggs bunny everywhere. Day weekend. Bunny day. Yeah. Got to get, yep. the, get the limited items that they're offering. I did get the bunny day candy from uh, Nook's Cranny, so... <laughs> For those of you <laughs> who are following all the drama. And at, Animal uh, Crossing. Animal Crossing. I would hardly call it drama. Although there's this bunny that shows up who's really terrifying looking, so... Oh. Um, Does he look like the bunny from uh, that movie? Oh, uh, no, no, uh, not that sci-fi film. Um, <laughs> I know what I know what you mean. Yeah. Um, bunny mask. Yeah. No, Yay. not quite that terrifying. But, uh, yeah. It's... Like, this, this level is brutal. There's so many. Yeah. The bunny in AC uh, is creepy looking. Very creepy looking. Ah! Uh, I forget his name. He does have a name. Um. Anyway. Is this still on slow? I don't know if I could be able to do 
this. Oh, come on! <laughs> I can cast any Twitch channel to my Chromecast, but this channel. It is because of the frame rate, right? If your TV doesn't support 60 frames a second, it's going to be choppy. It's not going to. It's not going to work properly. Yeah. Yeah. Or Chris Albright was just asking. Or your TV doesn't just doesn't support it, right? Like the 60 frames. Yeah, yeah. and we do have a TV that does not support 60 frames, and it's weird and choppy. It doesn't and... work. Yeah, it doesn't look right. Yeah. So that is probably the issue that you're encountering. Mm. Um, there's nothing you can really do about that. Buy a new TV? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's not what you want. Uh, normal, normal. Yeah. Uh, let's go to eat some flowers. Sure. And, uh, Get a little further. slow speed. Yeah. I was playing at slow speed. Uh, short body. Short We're gonna body. do the Long easiest. body is gonna be, yeah. We're gonna go for the easiest. See if we can get a little further. Oh, yeah. that's really, oh, my lesson's... Oh, I guess it resets every time. It, no, I, I rebooted it. Oh, played, okay, that's right? true. Yeah, that makes sense. It, I, I don't get the mushrooms. It's definitely broccoli. You're definitely trying uh. to avoid broccoli. <laughs> oh, yeah. The snake does not like broccoli. No, but it's supposed to be mushrooms. Worms, sorry. The worms. It's, isn't it supposed to be mushrooms? Yeah, it is. Yeah. It definitely looks like broccoli. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So he doesn't like broccoli. Yeah. It's not mushrooms. No. Yeah. Mushrooms are... Uh, they moldy mushrooms? Maybe. Because mushrooms are generally got brown. Algae, algae uh, growing on them? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, that's much better. Yeah. Oh, oh, smoosh. It's too bad because I had a good run of flowers there. It happens. Ah! I find the double the double move is really hard with that it joystick. Is. It's uh it's hard to go turn turn really quickly. Again, the short a shorter throw joystick would be would be better. Oh yeah. Hooray! Nice. Woo, level three. If it's if this, no, interesting. Seems easier than level two. A little bit more open because they put the same number of flowers, flowers and, and broccoli <laughs> on the level. But if it's a smaller level, it's yeah. going to be way harder. That's why you need testing and people going. Why is level two harder than level three? <laughs> yeah, this is. Much more open than level two. Mm. Oh, geez, you didn't even get to the other side of the screen. Yeah. It's n definitely better um, with the some flowers because <laughs> you can get through the levels a little bit easier. Yeah, and that's that's all flowers good... would be super hard. Oh my goodness, you'd be going round and round even if you were really precise. See, this one's more open too. Oh. Ah. Yeah. Um. That's why it's good to have various... It didn't set it to 30. Lies! Buzz does not work. Uh, maybe it's only in the... Maybe. In the cartridge version. That's possible. Possible. Because yeah, some people possible. put out versions for people to play. Mm -hmm. um, but then they reserve certain things for the cartridge version. TV. There we go. Now I can turn it off. Oh, see? Mm, that makes me crazy. <laughs> Those are poison mushrooms with bro broccoli juice. Ah, that. You've hit upon it. They've been dyed green with broccoli juice, and the worm is just like, I'm not having any of that. It's a shame. I, oh, <laughs> my timing. <laughs> believe in you you can do it oh, oh I, I heard see? it you i did heard hear it. it oh i maybe it's just because i'm sitting on my lap that's it yep <laughs> i'm trying to find something to blame here 
Can't blame the right. cats. Other than my brain. Rumble cat. Yep. Oh. No. The apple? Yes. Well, <laughs> there you go. It. Whew. <sighs> Those are green, green death, death caps. caps. Interesting. Did you find a mushroom that's green? Maybe there is a mushroom set of green. I'm going to look it up. Green mushrooms. I'm sure there are. They're, They're mostly brown. Oh, yeah, there's lots of green mushrooms. Oh. Six deadly mushrooms to be aware of while foraging. That one's not green. That one's kind of green. Death cap. Yep. There you go. Thrust found it. They're kind of green. Kind of yellow, at least in this picture. So that makes a lot of sense. Level one again. Yeah, I did. Oh. I didn't have it. I heard two two movements <laughs> that it didn't pay attention to. Again. Diagonal. I think maybe I'm oh. I'm running a lot of Rockola's nibbler with this one. Yeah, nibbler's nibbler's pretty cool looking. I've never actually played nibbler, but I watched the documentary. Did you watch that with me? Never. Yeah. No. Yeah. <sighs> Didn't you? I'm just so frustrated by that. Where the guy's trying to get the top nibbler score in the world, and he's like playing nibbler at home, and it's like, I think it's a single screen non-scrolling maze, and you're like this worm zipping around the maze like crazy, and it's such a high action game. Um, and the variation, it's like a very old school game, so the variation doesn't change much from level to level. Um, so it, it looks so tedious to get a high score on that. Oh, yeah? Yeah. But I mean, if you're going for like a world record, it's going to be tedious no matter how much variation there is in the mm. game, really. It's a fun game. The 2600 7800 is due for a port. Yeah, that one is ripe for a port. That's for sure. You're frequently dying on your last one. Like your last flower to get? Oh. oh. Okay. Boo. We're done. Okay. We're done this. That's a really cute game, though. It is I very enjoy cute. It. I enjoy that a lot. Um, so the next game we're going to play is uh, a, a fairly new game. Mm. He's been working on this since uh, summer last year of 2020. Um, it's uh, Steve Fulton, known as Fulton Bot on the uh, forums. It's a shooter. Uh, so let's load that up. It's called Into the Void. Ready. Let me get the cartridge graphics up for that. That's the one thing I did not get ready. But it only takes seconds. How many seconds? I don't know. <laughs> what happened? Where is everything? Why isn't this on the screen? What is going on? At oh. Saw something. Ready. It flashed. There we go. Hurrah. Just leave this for a second, please. That's very pretty. So, uh, Fulton Bot has also made 7800 Xmas Santa vs. The Nightmares, Into the Void, Number Crusher, and Last Stand Halloween. And I believe we played Last Stand Halloween at Halloween? Last Halloween. Um, you can get this in the Atari forums, just like the last game. Um, he said, on July 23rd, 2020, I've been watching this forum for a while and decided to start a development thread from our 70, Atari 7800 homebrew game, Into the Void. Um, the game will most likely transform greatly as I continue. Go for it. It's a shooter. Shoot things. I was going to say, I love if you look at the animation Ooh. of the squares. It's like the reflection is going around, like the light oh, is, is, is spinning around the V. That is very it's nice. It's very nice. Just needed to point that out. Okay, shooter. It's like eight different gotcha. uh, frames of animation there, yeah. And and keep in mind, this is a very... It's, it's early on in the game. 
There's only really two sections he's got done. Oh, okay. This is still very much in development. Though. Yes, so don't expect a, a big, a big, huge... Um, so he says, by the way, the game is 160A with 16 pixel zones, uh, using 160A four color sprites and double buffering. Um, it's being built in Atari Dev Studio right now with TIA sounds, but I'm not against using Pokey. Atari Vox support, uh, oh, this is what he has planned. Atari Vox support planned, high score, uh, cartridge support planned. And he started this thread to force himself to finish the game in 2020. So he had uh, high expectations. Void breached. Interesting. Um, and if you don't know uh, who Steve Fulton is, mm -hmm. he co-hosts a podcast with his twin, twin brother, Jeff Fulton. Oh, uh... um, and the podcast is called Into the Vertical Blank. Okay. Um, and they've been uh, doing the podcast since uh, April 2018. Music gets stuck. Oh, was there a stuck note? I didn't hear it. I was talking too much. Now music on music at all. The game inherits some of the loader colors. Oh, white background on the concerto. Yeah, I've kind of... Mm. Until the next update, I'm not going to be using the concerto because a number of games, because the concerto doesn't set. You're going off the screen. Yeah. <laughs> why are you going off the screen? I was reading. That's oh. why. Oh, I thought you were doing that. I purpose. wasn't playing. No. Um, because the, the 7800 BIOS, the default BIOS, and the 7800 sets the background to black. Now there's this here the note. Oh yeah. yeah. The it's default. Caught. It's caught. The default BIOS in the 7800 sets the background black. So, if you don't intentionally set the, the background to black, uh, and the concerto does not do that after it loads a game, it inherits the background in the concerto mm. background, which is white. Which is why I couldn't play certain games until I got the Dragonfly, because... Nice. Oh, you did. It's a nice explosion. Yeah. It just repeats, it seems. Yeah, it's got two screens. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. Pretty simple, but cool. I think it needs a few more uh, enemies in this level. But, uh... Can you delete that uh, message? I'll play the game. Oh, I right click on their name. Yeah. Or hover over their name. Yeah. And then ban them. Ban hammer. Boom. On their name. Their name. Yeah. And right click. And then left, the little uh, line through it. Oh, sorry. No. Down, left, down, left, there. Ban! Ban hammer, gone! Good. <laughs> that wasn't our right click, by the way. Oh, well, I don't know. <laughs> That's why I, I just, was like... I just do things. It's like, I don't remember. Uh... <laughs> the void breached. Okay, cool. So that is... I said Iridium for the C64 would be cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I'm looking forward to a lot of shooters. Looks like good game bones, yes. Yes, I really do have to get things going. Ba that's a good name for a hero, Banhammer. Banhammer. <laughs> the Banhammer comes down. So, Ready. oops, I think I loaded that before I should have. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, I did. The next game we're going to be playing uh, is Dungeon Stalker. And this is also available in the Atari Age Store. Mm. Uh, let me load up the graphics for this one. So this is a finished game. Dungeon Stalker. And it's made by Steve Engelhart, who's known as Atarius Maximus. This nice. is uh, first posted uh, on April 1st, uh, 2015. So mm -hmm. six years ago, exactly. Nice. Almost. <laughs> to almost the day. Uh, it's 48k game. No, I think I can load it up. Uh, he has made a ton of other games. Mm -hmm. This is also made by Mike Sarna, Sarna who's Revenge. That name. Yeah. Um, he's made uh, Adventure 7800. Oh, this nice. is the one with the voice in it. Excellent. Uh, Adventure 7800. Uh-huh. 
Ah, nice. Got a demo. Asteroid Escape, boom for the 7800, bombs away, cave in, cave in run, death merchant for 7800, diamond drop, drag race 2600, dungeon stalker 7800, Dra gate racer, gate racer 2, grand theft, Atari, a demo, inferno jumper, jungle adventure demo, legend at silver peak, uh, just a huge, huge list, you can check it online. Mm -hmm. This is available in this, oh it's noisy, <laughs> available in the Atari Age forums and in the Atari Age store on cart. Now this is actually a port of an Intellivision game. So, so we're going to take a look at the followed? Intellivision Someone game. Followed? Oh, oh, yeah, you missed. That's because I used the voice. I know, on the Atari box. <laughs> That's funny. That is funny. That's, That's okay. gone. Yeah. Oh, you no. missed it. You missed it. Gone forever. So we're going to take a look at the original game first mm. before we play it. And if that's going to continue in the background, <laughs> I like unfortunately. It, it's awesome. uh, so, YouTube. Nice. So, this was on the Intellivision. There we go. And, um. Intellivision, yep. Yep. Oh, and I, and I played this game a bunch. It's a, it's a lot of fun. It's. It's it's a maze game, and there's a variety of enemies in it that gotcha. you have to shoot. There's bats and spiders with a spider web. Um, uh. Things shoot back. Um, <laughs> and and the spiders and the bats regenerate. Gotcha. So there's really one. This guy knows what he's doing. <laughs> Let's fast forward it a bit because that's a bit repetitive right now. So now he's got multiple people to deal with. He can't just sit and camp Maybe still do you do you, um you still go up the level camping. depending on your score is that the idea then um because obviously you're not killing everything on the screen if things keep reju like dun, 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 coming yeah. back yeah might be on i'm not sure what the level and depends dun, on dun, dun, dun. for the intellivision version it might be the number of enemies you hit or mm. the score per level okay so that's enough of that that and go back to mm. 7800 version very cool yes dungeon stalker, dungeon stalker. i take With it an you L can't stalker. walk into that web because that's a bad thing it slows you down if i remember correctly okay. and also in this one you have a limited number of arrows which you have to refill and there's oh, also things to gather yes. as well okay so, go for Dungeon it. Stalker. It says, Dungeon Stalker started out as an homage to Intellivision's Night Stalker and ultimately evolved into what I'm sharing with everyone today. This release uh, represents three months and hundreds of hours of hard work. This is the initial release. Not this. This was even more work. I couldn't have done it without Revenge's help, so, uh, so much so that we are presenting this game as co-authors. The game is written in 100% 7800 basic, and I really think it shows how powerful the language is. Well done, Rev Eng. I also want to thank Trevor for Jackpot. his many hours of Jackpot. Jackpot of playtesting to make sure the game is as bug-free and as perfect as possible. We had a discussion over the placement of a single pixel at one point. Uh, the game uses the much lesser used 320A mode, which allows for much higher resolution as the, at the expense of single color sprites. So you can see all the sprites are single color. So you are one color and the enemies are just one color each. But uh, you're, he does that so he can get very high resolution. You look at the spider. It's mm -hmm. really high resolution. Mm -hmm. They're very detailed. Because on... A lot of the early systems, there's a trade-off between resolution and uh, color depth. So if you if you if he upped it from one color to two colors, he would have has half the resolution because he'd have to dedicate more information to the colors, right? Uh, uh, there's also dark cavern on the 2600 from the tent. That is true, and. Um, so what, um, 
What did you set the, the settings to? <laughs> novice, okay. I'm like, uh, I don't know this game. We'll sure. just try it at novice and oh, see. Oh, you have unlimited arrows. That's not fun. So you're not, you don't have to collect the arrows. Well, I, I'm yeah. trying to figure out the gameplay, so okay. it is what it is. <laughs> oh, no, don't go away. Don't go away. Gold. And I think if you go through the spider web, it slows you down. Mm. And the spiders can lay webs as well. Mm. so that you can't pass through areas yeah the the sprites look multicolored um if i had an rgb mod on my 7800 mm. it would be a lot more precise oh i do have oh, i see it says I'm oh wizard of war makes an appearance ah! nice <laughs> Get him. <laughs> Wizard destroyed. Awesome. So this was demoed at uh, PRGE 2015. Sorry, I didn't finish my story about the artifacting. Um, yeah, as you go up the levels in picture quality, <laughs> you get less and less color bleed and less and less blurriness. So my 7800 is modded with S-Video right now mm. which is which is not bad it's quite decent uh, i would like a rgb modded 7800 because then it would get rid of that that kind of ah you got me the um, like color bleed it. artifacting where it's giving oh. your hero kind of greeny orange look to it yeah i'm using the uav mod so you can go right up to those guys now and just Attack what? Him. What Hit him guys? with the sword. The enemies. The oh, other things on the while screen. I'm flashing? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. I haven't read any instructions yet. Really? <laughs> I just ran into him. I don't know. Just ran into him? Yeah. Did, he didn't die. No, you have to press the button. I believe. I was. I thought. Okay. You killed him? Ah! Ah! Um... He said, thanks to everyone who attended the PRG show. I wasn't able to attend, but for those interested, there are some pics here. I'm attaching one of the pics that shows Dungeon Stalker in the Atari Age booth. Thanks for sharing the thread with me, Marco. I am advanced. I am advanced? <laughs> um, I was also a big fan of Dark Cavern and Night Stalker as a kid, as well as Wizard of War. I, th I was thinking of Wizard of War and Mrs. Miss Night Stalker as well during development. It was Mike's idea to add the wizard, and it worked out perfectly, I think. It's funny that both Night Stalker and Wizard of War included an invisible enemy, which I purposefully left <gasps> at a Dungeon Stalker. It's the one design decision I've always disagreed oh, with died. for both of those games. It was much more frustrating than fun for me. I don't, I don't mind the invisible characters in Wizard of War. I mean, uh, you do need a map if you're going to have some invisible enemies, or some way to indicate where they are. Um, CRTs would display it a little bit differently than, um, LCDs. Go I up to them I, and press the button while no, you're on I'm, top of them. No, I'm, I'm immune while I have the sword. Oh, I, I, I think I, I shot him. I'm not hitting, him. I'm not, he shot me and it didn't do anything. Right. so I think I must have shot him. It's funny oh. that they represent it as a sword dead for immunity. It should have been a shield, oh, if anything. kill me. My <laughs> life in her. Wait, how was it she not getting killed just then on the bottom row? Yeah, because I was flashing. The wizard shot went through her twice and she wasn't in god power. Were you not in uh, I thought power I up? was in power up, actually. But oh. maybe I wasn't. Maybe that's a mistake. Ah! You maybe... The wizard of war actually, I think, shot me several times and nothing happened. So oh. that, yeah, something funny was going on and going on there. Thank you. Pig flogger. Okay, we're not doing novice because... Some well, of the th options are turned off. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, jeez, the demo kicks in. Advanced? So, we'll go standard. That demo mode kicks in way too quick. Because <laughs> I think you didn't get any of the spider webs. Um, uh -huh. You didn't get any of the arrow depletion because you had unlimited arrows. Else. Oh, that was a mistake. 
two arrows. Do they show up after you lose them? Is that the idea? Uh, yeah, you have to go collect them. So I'm gonna get that, do that right now. And just waste it so I can do it immediately. Oh, is that guy gonna go down? Yep. yep. Oh boy. Where's he going? Ooh, nope. I don't think I'll do that. Oh, come on. Yeah, they're doing oh, that on purpose. On. For sure. Uh, there we go. More arrows. More arrows. So the really the thing you want to get is that guy. Yeah. Because he just keeps reappearing. I just have a lot of points. Uh, go get your know. go get your gold. Jackpot. Jack. Uh, Jack. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. Jackpot. God, God mode. God mode. One arrow left. Still have to get arrows. Uh, uh, uh. You can't hurt me. I'm going to walk right through you to get my arrows. Mm, so now I know that. Oh, arrows. Oh, you run out of arrows. Very quickly. Filled up. Good variety of... Mm -hmm. um, good variety of voices. See, if you walk through the spider web... Yeah, you slow down. Very slow. The spider doesn't shoot you. No, thank goodness. Just the this only thing that shoots him you is and that the, guy. And the snake when he shows up later, too. Mm. Oh, there we go. So I shot a bat as the end thing. Yep. So I'm not sh uh, 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 Wizard destroyed. <laughs> Wizard destroyed. Very nice. Very nice, yeah. Oh. One arrow left. Just get this guy. Oh, pausing, huh? Okay, hey, well, you stay there. Yeah. Get the cup and head up. Get. Watch out for that snake. Shoot backwards. Oh, yeah. oh, I can't shoot backwards. He's a naughty snake. Oh, double. Ooh. Oh. I did not expect a double shot from him. Yeah. A double shot needed. Come here, snake. He doesn't know that I'm in god mode. Apparently. Because <laughs> he's just like, you're yeah. Of, just, you're out of arrows. Oh, can't you're shoot out of anything. arrows. More arrows. Come on, come on. Nope. Oh, one shot. Oh. Uh. No, out of arrows. <laughs> out of arrows. Yes, James got the latest revision. Yeah, I have the older version of the Atari box and the newer version of the Atari box. I'm going to relegate the older version to my Vectrexes. My Vectrex size. Vetrices. Vetrices? My vectors. <laughs> oh, he put down a web. Oh, wow. And you can't you can't go past those? You can, it's just really slow. Oh, okay. So you don't really want to go that direction? Arrow recharge. Come on, come on. sword read the chat um doo -doo 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 -doo. i had to remove the pip chip on mine to get this game and others working stable with speech oh or pic pic i don't, don't know that chip or i've what been it does. meaning to pick up another to use with my vetrex but i don't play it as often so i've not been motivated enough yet mm. yay oh my god Next oh my god oh uh, He stays if he's just a bonus, or you or have to defeat him. I don't know. He he was around on, for on, quite a while. Damn it! Oh, he gotcha. Terminated. Terminated. Oh, and it, and once you get killed by the wizard, it's next level. There's two guys on top oh, of each other there. Yep. Oh, oh, he just gotcha. Yes, their bullets are very fast. You, yeah. You need some room. Oh my goodness, he's... I believe he can shoot. Yeah, arrows. it looks like it. More arrows. More arrows. There's the sword. God, lives, God. It's a good place to put it. Because it doesn't matter your lives at that point. Do you have unlimited arrows too? One more, one more. 
I think I'm gonna play advance next time because Are you finding it it's, easy? It's not not hard hard, not, yeah. but it's not easy. You know. But it's not hard. <laughs> There's a lot of room to to get away. Let's say. Oh, oh just missed him. Yeah. If he came just, down that alley just he would have tiny bit. Oh, they they just shoot regardless if you're on if you're on the same horizontal plane as them. Or vertical. They just shoot. Which makes it easy program. Mm. It's like, oh, I, I don't need to know that it's an open area to shoot him. And they have unlimited bullets anyway. Mm. So there's no reason for them to not it's like start shooting. Something. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. He's, he's making a web there. Oh, oof, just. Sometimes it's good to waste your last arrow when you're in a, a safe area because yeah. then you can just get full again. After you've killed a bunch of things. Yeah. Yeah. And shooting is not... Like, there's room inside vertically. Yeah, there is a tiny bit. So you can you can miss something Yeah. when you shoot down. Even though you're on the same plane as it. Yeah, it's not an automatic, yeah, I've killed him. So that's it. that's an interesting little thing because you can kind of wiggle around even even inside. Mm. Oh, arrows. Vectrex is nearing Geo Neo Geo prices. Uh, yeah, I mean, they're they're rare. Yeah, they're, they're not awesome. easy to find. Oh my God, that's awesome. More arrows. Oh, more arrows. What? Did I collect two things at once there? I or think something? you might have. Because I like got God mode and it said something about arrows. Nice. Let's go. Oh no. That's not gonna be good. It's gonna shoot me. Now this is a problem. Yeah, you're gonna have to cross through. Yep. While there's nobody around. As best as you can. Oh boy. Extra life. Look at how much Extra life! Oh. Blubber something. Blubber Thank you. Botch seventy three. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you Thank for you. following. Thank you for following. Oh, it's open. <laughs> I gotta go up. There's no room. There we go. Now there's time to get out of this. Oh, spiderweb infested area. Okay. What was that? Oh, sorry. Oh. Need it, need it. See, it's not... I'm not, like, scrambling. Like, I'm not having trouble. Ugh. And this is my, like, kind of first time playing the game. I think, uh, normal's a bit too easy. Bad. It's not too bad. Hitting the spider web, that's what's going on. Arrows gone. Arrows gone. There's a lot of Oh, I didn't see that guy. And I still have three two lives. Yeah, I'm gonna play advance next time. Yeah, make it a little harder. It just seems it seems a little tedious at this point, like Yeah. You wanna you wanna advance a little bit faster. I want some danger. Mm. I mean it is dangerous. You've got tons of spider webs now. Yay! Well, it's time for the Wizard of War. Oh, arrows, arrows, arrows. You don't have arrows. Oh, uh, 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 Did he die? Looked like he kind of died. Oh, a skeleton. That's Still great. Me. Oh, this one's very Your arrow's dark. down at the bottom. That's a or terrible spot. Get the god spot. mode first. Oh, get perfect. the god mode. That's a good way of doing it. Yeah, wait till that, and then you can... Well, that's a dark background. It is, like... It Almost is dark invisible. green on black is not a good combo. Unless it's like intentional, like, like it's supposed to be a dark maze, which I'm guessing. But I don't know if it's the same colors every time playthrough. Now you're alive. Now be careful. There we go. Yeah, no longer in God mode. 
But the guys don't turn around, so they're very they, they, predictable. They take one path. There's so many spider webs everywhere now. There's just spider webs everywhere. Yeah, they're very predictable. He's making more spider webs. <laughs> you need to stop. Can you destroy the spider webs completely? I guess it doesn't that's look like your it. incentive. Well, you have to be on the same plane. Yeah, and some it'll them, only do half, right? Some of them you're not on the same plane. Like, yeah. I can't get rid of those bot. No. Well, I'll shoot them from the top, I could. I suppose, yeah, Whoa. that's true. Oh, making another one. Uh oh. I'll squeeze through that. I am God. I am God. So shooting the spiders is a an incentive to make them stop making yeah. the spider webs. Oh, no. oh come on. Uh, <laughs> uh, no. Almost. You're dead now. Yeah, no. I, I almost got him. Very good. Okay, you have to you, play in advance. You play, you play advance. I'm okay. not going to get very far gonna play a junior apprentice so advanced we'll play one more unadvanced mm -hmm. oh the demo kicks in way too fast i like that you can't just camp out timing shots to the robots spawn points like you could in the int mm. version yeah you can't just yeah that guy was just spam. i wonder if there's an all dark maze just for james <laughs> oh no <laughs> I bet if you go high enough, there is. Oh, you don't get many arrows. Oh, God, that's it's just a five? problem. Yeah. Just five? Oh, and they're shooting f f fast. Or at least it was. Oh, because he was shooting into a wall. That's uh, I'm not going to get that cut. No. And he starts uh, with harder enemies right away. Yeah. You've got the, you've got the snake. Yeah. hard for level one it is yeah i've already oh. died once so it's a bit better i think this is a bit this would be a, a normal i would think level and i would have put one higher harder level than this and i would have made this normal okay. what no fear <laughs> Oh, oh, hiding behind the web, are you? I like how uh, you don't get a reprieve from the spider webs. They just, they stay level to level. So they you're kind of screwed. Yeah. It makes it even harder and harder if you don't so destroy them. Yeah, see, I could there. destroy that one because it was possible to. Yeah, it does. Oh, oh God. Ammo gone. Oh, and he's making a spider web right there. Oh, God. Go around this side. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, he relentlessly pursues you. Oh, come on! Nini. This is a much better. Oh, much harder. Much harder. Much more challenging. Now I feel like I, I'm kind of in danger. Mm, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you want to feel it's like. It's harder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you have to put some strategy into it. Like, oh, I gotta yeah. stay in this corner, I gotta watch out. The snake does not run away from you, though. They have no, no. idea about the god mode. No. It's actually a good time to... Get more uh, ammo. ...and destroy webs. Get rid yeah. of all your arrows. clear mm -hmm. so you do need to kind of clear up your area there we go. Uh, three arrows left i don't think i've ever played advanced <laughs> it's a much better yeah uh level to play 
more interesting. Okay, there we go. That's not a good spot for arrows. Thank you, bat. I thought and he was going to come towards me. I was going to be so annoyed. Do I get another number of arrows? Get I have seven arrow. now. Yeah. Seven arrows. That's plenty. Yep. Sometimes you get a full, and sometimes you get not a full. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Some random amounts of arrows. Can't stop me. <laughs> really funny sayings in the Atari box. Oh, the top corner. Gone. Yep. Ah, oh, I ran into him. That was a stupid move. Stupid move. Oh, you start where you were. Not in your little enclosure. Sometimes, well, I I was. That's interesting. I believe, yeah. Maybe on easy mode. Oh, uh, you yes. S you start in the enclosure. That does make sense. Advanced mode, you just respawn. I'm hiding. I'm hiding. What if you they can shoot them here? Oh. Well, you didn't, so... You do have a little hidey hole for yeah, it's whatever really bad. reason you need it. You have yeah. to duck out of the way. True. Um, oh, Yay. oh, I need that ammo though. Ah, uh, no. Oh, I know. I, know. I actually find it hard to get him because he's he never. He flashes around. He's never where I am. Not for very long. I don't feel in danger from him. I feel like, uh, come on over here, please. Come get on. your god sword there. Oh. There. Oh, you shoot he and he often disappears. <gasps> oh. There we go. Yeah. Good job. Oh, I'm doubling up there. Yeah, you're almost done. Yeah. Nope. Nope. Ugh. Their bullet disappears after you kill them. Sometimes, so. not always though. Not arrows. Yeah. Yeah. Not always. I swear I've been hit by stray bullets after after I've now killed something. Now it's getting interesting. There's a, a number of uh, enemies on the screen now. Maybe not, but I thought I thought at least once I've died because of a stray bullet after I've killed the enemy. Level three. Now it's Maybe it was a bit just too challenge. close. Yeah. Uh oh. Now it is. Stupid bat. Ugh. Ugh. The snake. They should be slow through it too. Oh, I find that me. I find that Oof. unfair. Oh my gosh, you you ducked away. I didn't know you go, could do go, that. Go, go, go. That's interesting. Oh, they're, they're being protected. Yeah. No, no more webs. Stop it. Get some arrows soon. Yeah. Oh, there's a sword. So oh, this is a good he's... level. Now we're now, now we're having we're some. Hinge. There it is. Now we're having some challenge because of how many enemies. Oh, the snake's bullet doesn't go away. Mm. Others do. I thought maybe it depended on the line or how many... Oh, no. Stop it. Yeah. <laughs> Stop making webs. Oh, he's running away. He didn't run towards me. No, get out of the way. <laughs> Mike, shoot the bat. No, right none of the arrows. Ah. You got him. You got him. There we go. Just respawns exactly where he is, <laughs> but that's okay. Yep. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, dodge. Oh, Dodgy god. dodge dodge. Just one last shot. I don't think the arrows change, which would be a good option. Um, like if you don't get them in time, it's like oh, they moved. They're too slow. No, they 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 stay exactly where. That'd they be are. a good one for advanced over mm -hmm. um, normal mode. Because he's not developing anymore. So I'm just like suggesting things into the wind. <laughs> this is already put out on cartridge. Mm -hmm. It's too late for suggestions. No, it's totally fine. Everything is good. God mode. There you go. Now get your arrows. Uh, which are down bottom left there. Oh, okay. So they're flashing. So I'm like looking for them. Nice. 
the voice is actually super helpful. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, because it tells you when you need to get arrows. If you didn't have the voice, I'd be like, why am I not shooting? Yeah. What is happening? Yeah. You're shooting really fast now. I kind of wish on first-person shooters they would do that. Time to reload! Time <laughs> oh, to yeah. reload! That'd be cool. Because I always, I'm always like trying to shoot. I'm like, why can't I shoot? Oh crap! I have to reload. I hate games like that. Spider webs are getting really. I bad. just want continuous shot. Oh, he shot into the, the safety zone there. Did he? Yeah, I wasn't oh. in it, so it may disable the shooting. Oh, you hit him. Stop walking into things. They have a bit of time before they. Uh... But you have to, you have to be in the direction to shoot that way. So sometimes but I you moved move into accidentally. It. Yeah. Oh, oh, the right snake's bullet destroyed. destroyed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I will, oh, nope, nope, nope. I will take that though. Oh, I can't. Yeah, they don't know that you're gone. Hey, Oh, we're in the dark mode, are we? Oh, he's moving fast. Oh, oh. Come here. Where are you? Oh, it's hard to see him. He's always warping nowhere near you. Nowhere near you. Oh, I he died, got you. but I got him. Got him. Wizard's book. And... Yeah. Oh, it's so dark. Oh, it's terrible. <laughs> it's so dark. You can just there's see so the many spider They're webs. so bright relative to I the walls. I gotta clear up these spider webs. The spider webs are just annoying me. I can't. There's too many of them. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta go shoot them. I'm making more, too. to clear some of the more common paths. Your arrow, sir, it should say. Shoot me. It's my safe place. There we go. <laughs> Maybe you just go back there when there's too much around you. Maybe. Because last oh. time you respawned where you were, but it was safe, I guess? Yeah. Let's, uh... This is way better on advanced mode. Way, way, way better. Yeah, you do need to clear up those spider webs. Blast this time. Not sure. There we go. Cleared. I'll get rid of that. Oh, you have to do it from the bottom. Yeah. Mm -hmm. like there. I can do it there. Oh no. Oh no, he's putting a web right by it. How dare you, sir? Uh, no, no, no. Oh, run, 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 run. Oh, I'm oh. oh, I started right there. Oh. Oh. I thought it was going to be in the middle. That was good. Mm -hmm. mm, I like it. I like how it looks. That is a good game mm -hmm. on advanced. Yes. The other ones are way too easy well, for me they're anyway. Well, they're good for ramping Beginners. up and getting the, the feel of yep. it, right? But, but advanced is a good... A good level a for good me. Hard, hardness yeah. level. Yeah. yeah. Very, very good. Love the appearance of the Wizard of War. Yes. And the Atari Vox vo voices are excellent. They are. Yeah. So the next game we're going to be playing is called Get Lost. And 
something that stood out while I was researching it was this game is made in assembly language. Yeah. And I have not noticed, not that I know too much about the 7800, but I know a lot of them are made in um, 7800 basic. Oh, yeah. But this one is in assembly. Assembly. Okay. Which is very, very interesting. Is that unusual? Um, from what I've seen, it is. Very unusual. Even Ready. even um, making games in assembly on 2600 is fairly unusual, but mm -hmm. I think it's even more unusual Good kid. in uh, 7800 games. You want to start or um, I will feed the cat or do the, you want to feed the cat? Grab the things out of the uh, printer, please. There's oh. instructions. Aha. And you will play. Okay. And I will feed the cat. Okay. There you go. So He's getting treats. Go for it. For being a good kitty. It's a platformer, and okay. you collect the diamonds. So collect diamonds, go after diamonds, avoid stuff. Yep, go for it. Do that's it. That's Dungeon Stalker there. So. Oh, that's oh okay. Well, we missed the instructions for that. Uh, oh. Yeah, we don't need instructions for this. Don't, oh, don't poor forget kitty. to feed the kitty when he hits the bell. Okay. I wish more people who made homewards would add them to the games database. Mm. Oh, yes, yeah, registering. Yeah, go for it. <laughs> um yeah it would be good to have people who oh there you go who made homebrews or even uh who like homebrews add them to all the lists because no oh. can't do that <laughs> oh, pixel why are you sitting in the hall come on come here oh, oh anti-social can't jump on him either <laughs> anti-social cat how am I supposed to get past this guy? Uh, you may not be able to do it that way. Is there's no shooting? Uh, no, oh. no shooting, just jumping. No. Uh, hmm? I'm willing to add mine. Yeah, it's an open database that's used by a variety of places, game oh. collectors apps, high score sites, uh, who knows what else. Oh, interesting. So that it's very good to add it to the database because then. You can uh, use it for other things. I need to read There's things. That. I can't There's be feeding down. the cat. Well, just put it down there. Interesting. So there's up and there's down in this. Oh, he almost died. <laughs> he wants his treats. He does. So this is uh, made by John K. Harvey, Propane 13. Uh, first post 2012. Uh, this build is from 2013. He also made a version of Arkanoid for the 7800. This game... Uh, Marble Madness for 2600, Mean Santa, Post-it Note, Pressure Gauge, which we played on the show, Pressure Gauge 2, and Steam Tunnel Bob, which we also played. Um, so he says, in my attempts to program the 7800 since 2001, it basically culminated in a game. 2001, started to try to program the 7800. 2003, created a scrolling graphics engine during a very late night. I wanted to write Mega Man. I got stuck with some of the com complications and abandoned it. 2009 started the Atari, original Atari Age thread. Community support prompted me to add a few tweaks, such as ladder support. It wasn't very exciting, though. Started Arkanoid instead. Why do I keep doing that? 2010, uh, moved across country and put my development system away. Uh, 2011, got set up again, ported my development system to a new laptop. Oh, you turned upside down. Arkanoid got shelved since I renewed interest in my first engine. From here, I spent one to three hours every day working on the engine until about April. After that, some sporadic work got the game engine and level design complete. With the help of a few people uh, that I'm very thankful for, I got past some crappy hardware issues, and now it can go public. Yeah, this is a very cute game and very challenging because the game is so vast. I've got the map here. It is huge how big this game is. And it has got just oodles and oodles. <laughs> Hello, yeah, I, I hear you. Oodles and oodles of diamonds to get. And you have to get them in a various ways. You've got three of them so far. Whoa, close. The bats are very reminiscent of, um, well, the whole thing is very re reminiscent of Pitfall. Okay. 
Okay. Yes, it is. Yeah. Pitfall 2, sorry. Where there's underground areas, there's lots of falling, <laughs> and instead of gold, there's diamonds to get. Uh, Toga Mario says, Woo! Get Lost Fan Club in the house! <laughs> you know, it's all over. It's over. It's over. <laughs> it's all He's over. like, You're so mean. Mm. Oh, you got through the right one. But what's the next one that you can't see? Yeah. Yep. Left. Okay. <laughs> He just keeps. But you get unlimited lives. Yeah. Well, it does keep track of your deaths. Because if you didn't, you'd be dead. Yeah. <laughs> Very quickly. Can't quite reach that one. Yeah. Can you reach it from the top? The Maybe. Oh, yeah. There's plenty of ladder. Plenty of ladder. And even those bats are in... in uh... Oh, there you go. Four. Oh, get away. Get, 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 get. Okay, on to the stuff people care about. The game is called Get Lost. You're a ninja in training. So you want to go to the left one. Mm -hmm. Then who knows what. I would guess the second or fourth one. Yay! Ho, 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 ho. Oh. Is, is that like a <gasps> Oh, respawn? checkpoint? Oh, I think it's a checkpoint. Very nice. Oh, nope. <laughs> Uh, after completing the most rigorous training course for your instructor, he had one minor, minor request for you, one final request for you. Before you could truly be called a master, he asked you to go to another world, a strange world with a fire castle, an underworld, and lots of strange surprises. Your task is to collect all of the gems in that world. How many gems are there? Well, that's part of the mystery. Your instructor has never been too talkative. You ready your ninja stars? Can you press the button? The other one? No. No. <laughs> no ninja stars yet. No ninja yet. stars. Not Let, yet. Yet. Uh, and weaponry. But just as you're about to leave, your instructor stops you. I have one condition on this quest. You nod your head, ready for anything. Every ninja must learn the most important part of training. Non-violence. <laughs> you must not harm anything. So, no weapons for you. Uh, you, you are stunned, but you put your weapons away. This truly will be the hardest quest you've ever undertaken. Oh! Nice. It's okay, though. You just keep telling to yourself that Pitfall Harry never had a gun. <laughs> <laughs> Breaking That's the fourth true. wall. That's true. Well, not the fourth wall. Like, um, what, was, what is that, would that be called? I'm sure there's a, an official name for it. Where you're self-aware of other things in that genre. Mm. Like a comic book hero would be aware of comic books with heroes in it. Not necessarily your comic book, mm. but that thing. And like a video game character being aware of other video game characters. Not that they think they're a video game character, but yeah, I wonder what that trope is. I mean, meta would be um, a good word for it, but like I'm sure it has a more official name on like TV tropes. Because that's like the black yeah. hole of time wasting. <laughs> but TV tropes? TV tropes. Like you yeah. just keep going because you're like, I'm going to check out my favorite TV shows and all the little nitpicky things that mm. ha that exist in them. Watch out! Ugh, should have dropped. Gameplay is simple. The button lets you jump. Left, right, move you left and right. Up and down, move you up and down on ladders. Pressing the button on a ladder will have you let go of it. So you can fall down a ladder if you want by just pressing the button. Yeah. Pause will pause the game. Bats, spikes, and fire are deadly. Avoid them at all cost. Oh my goodness, this goes forever. <laughs> it's huge. There are checkpoints throughout the game they look like up arrows. Touching a checkpoint will allow you to start there whenever you die. Oh, not high enough. There are rumors of a wise one who may help you on your quest. Oh, you're here now. You want treats? Cat who will not perform? Smell on the floor. Where there are no treats left? You've got lots. This black and white one has zero. There. But you get one because you'll get jealous. There you go. It all happened in Tommy Westfall's head. <laughs> Don't know what that reference is. Oh, I almost dropped the treats on myself. Oh, my goodness. No, nope, that's it. You don't ring the bell, you don't get extra treats. Um, oh, so mean. I know. 
free feel free to explore the world is bigger than you think oh, it's massive. and there are lots of surprises and features one final no note this game is hard but with presser, presser, perseverance you can pick up every single gem and win the game for now the game will alert you if you've finished it but there are no end credits yet uh one note i have for new players oh, try see. not to get too frustrated with it there are really some really taxing parts my best score for beating the game is 1 hour, 4 minutes, and 55 seconds. During that game, I died 109 times. I like the uh, red, almost LED display of the, of, of the time and the deaths, and it even has Y coordinates, so that'll help you know like the, the height of everything. Hey, it's Cats in the Cat Cam. There are... Cat two cat cats in the cat cam right now so yes both cats and they're looking for treats that's why they're in the cat cam automatic parachute yeah you don't die from any height do you no no which is good because there's lots of jumping lots of jumping oh got it did you know that one was there yeah oh, okay um so it should give you an indication as to the difficulty and length of the game and i've played it a lot it does get easier with time. Some of the puzzles are tough. That is an intent. That is intentional. Uh, uh, but it can be done with perseverance, and you do get better as you play. How do you get to that one? Hmm. You need to go down. You have a to bit. go down. And to the oh. oh yeah. And then to the left. There you go. Oh, get those ladders. Oh, no, then get then. up higher. There you go. I don't know. If Jump for your life. Oh, there you go. They get it. Yeah. There. Awesome. Ah, the bat. Ah, I didn't clear him. You still get the gem. Didn't I? You start uh, pretty close to you where keep, you were. You keep all your gems. So. so, from the map, there are kind of three major sections. There's like hmm. above where you started. Mm -hmm. Where you are now, and there's another kind of level beneath. This does show where all the gems are. This this world map. Two? Two. Yeah. Yeah, three, one, two. Oh, it's just back where it... <laughs> Big loop. That's where I wanted to go. I ported this to a PC a few years ago with the permission of the creator, but I don't think we ever intended to release it. Oh. So you're not you're not the creator, but you ported this game to um, the PC. That's very cool. cool. Three one two was a Chicago area number, area code, and beer. Oh, oh, in reference mm. to the oh, the falls. Oh, propane, welcome to the show. Oh, that is the creator. <laughs> so he's talking to another person. So welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, ah, right into waves. It. I, I, I love this type of genre. Oh, I do too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Where it's kind of puzzly. It's mostly puzzly. Mm. Um, you get infinite lives, so it's not like... Oh, you, 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 to... you can just enjoy playing it. Yeah, and figuring out the puzzles. Instead of rebooting and starting over all over again, which... Yeah. The frustration comes in in solving the puzzle, but if yes. you have infinite lives, it's not that much of a frustration. Oh, there you go. I think you have to fall. Mm -hmm. You can't get up there. Ah, ladder. No, oh! we missed it. Looked like there was something to Do the I left want to of there. Reboot there. Mm, that's Ooh. a good question. This is kind of leading to the bottom area. Well, not quite yet. Ah, and dead. And rebooted anyway. Do you want to play a bit? Um, I'll, I'm, I, I need to run out very quickly. I can't remember quickly. where you went. Hmm? Last. Go, go to the right and then up. Okay. I'm just randomly... Oh, it's that. Those. There's that's, the gem. That's what I was trying to get okay. to. Okay. But I'll... I didn't quite hit up on the ladder ah. the right time. I'll try and get that one. So I have to get up here. And because of the nature of what this game is, this is the last game of the day. No! No! Oh, I didn't fall too. Oh. 
fall too far, I was saying, and then the bat got me. I think she said go to the right. Yeah. There we go. The bats seem to go on very specific levels. Not the levels that you're on, but like the levels just a. Oh my god. I messed up, didn't I? Well, didn't have to go too far. Damn it! They always seem to be on the levels just above you. Like there's a certain pattern to them. Like he's planned it out where every second level is a platform. Like the, the, a bat would never come on the level I'm on, but it would come on the level beneath me and above me. And I think that's holding true so far. Be right back. Be right back. Okay, you be right back. Oh, do you have to press up on the ladder? Let's just go exploring to the right. You're the exact same speed as the bat. Ooh, can I get it there? Look like I could get that jump. Nope. Oh my god. Is is there a propane 13 fake? Did it, is his name real? Oh, that's funny. Oh, did I go somewhere wrong? I think I just did. <laughs> oh, I did. Oh, I should try and get that one that Tanya was going for. Oh. I'm going to hit my head. Nope. Might as well get extra ones. Ah! <laughs> is there a path this way? How many gems are there? Ah! I love Lucy I used to break the fourth wall all the time when Lucy would look at the audience with a strange expression during the show. I wonder what the first TV show to do that was. I know that... Oh, now I don't know the name of him or the show. Um, there was one where he's a really, really rich guy and he, would, and he was known as a cheapskate. Um, but I can't remember the name of the actor or... There we go. Oh. Talking about characters that would break the fourth wall. I think oh. that would... Uh, that'd be quite a common thing in, in early television. Oh, interesting. Then it'd become less and less. One. Nope. <laughs> three. Jack Benny! Yes, that's oh. the person I'm thinking of. He would constantly look to the mm. camera. Mm -hmm. Like looking for like... Oh, did you like my joke? <laughs> that kind of thing. I'm really funny. Um, and then it kind of went away. And then... In, in the another, show, you mean? No, not in the show. Oh, or that, general, style TV, that style of, of, of breaking comedy. the fourth wall. Yeah. yeah. Another one where it was quite notable was uh, Mr. Roper in Three's Company. Did he? Yes, he would. I was never a big free, I, I remember watching it, but I don't. I don't. Oh, oh my God, that's hard. The Reese Company was very silly. Oh yeah. It's <laughs> super silly. Yeah. Yes, it was. Ooh. Mm. No, nope, too high. <laughs> it's teasing you. You have to get it from the other side. George Burns too. George. Um, I don't remember. I don't remember that. a lot of George Burns, but no, I haven't. Oh my God, I'm underwater. You can jump really high in the water. Whoa! See how high you can jump? Yeah, watch fishies. the fishies. Fishies are cute. Oof. How high can I jump? Pretty high if Obviously you hold over it. that. Yeah. <gasps> and ten. Uh, but you got it. I did. One. One more. <laughs> then more. Then before. I still want to get this one. Yeah. Because this one seems easy, but it's about how you jump onto a ladder and catch ladders. Yeah. I'm you have not... to hit up. You have to hit the up button, but you have to time it really well. Yeah, up. That's it. Yeah. Okay. So fall onto it and hit up. Yeah. That's, uh, I can do it. Done. I can do it. Oh, you just caught me. But the controls in the game are very good. They're very responsive. Mm. And very fast. 
So it's very fun to zip around and just catch onto ladders and fall down everywhere. Hi. How are oh, you doing? Hello, kitty. He's being pretty cute. Yeah. Can you see him? No, he's just on the edge there. Okay. <gasps> I knew it. Almost. I should have waited. <laughs> I should have waited. Yeah, you... You, you start to rush and then you run into things because you're just not yeah. pausing to wait for something to go by. And you're like, why did I do that? Yeah. You have to just pause. Does anybody have a I good... Love the look of this game too. A good page explaining the different mm. resolution modes for the 7800. Um, because I looked and there's like mm. incomplete pages. It's like, here's, here's, here's five modes. There's five more, but we're, we don't want to talk about them. Or, or what their abilities Can are. Can you go to the... No, you can't go to the left from there. <gasps> Hooray! Yay! Good and job. There we go. Whee. Because there's like 160A, 160B, 320A, 320B. Um, but only some of them were explained in the page that I found. Interesting. Oh, there's one there. And I want to learn more yes. yay, about the 7800 and its uh, abilities. Okay, so you want to get in... Oh, you And then can't. there's like kangaroo mode, but nobody explains what kangaroo mode is. It's like... Mm. Can't get up there. You have to do it from, the, do it from the bottom. Mm. Ugh, I can't. Yeah. Toga Maria says, The thing I like most about this game is that it's difficult in places, but very fair. Yes, it is very fair. Very fair. Yeah. Like the, the infinite lives make it a lot more fair. How do I get there? I don't know to fall through something I, I, am i stuck no oh is this a new this is a new area, this is a new okay. area. i don't think you can ever be stuck no. i think he's probably planned it so it's like there's a way out everywhere yeah yeah i suppose if you do get stuck you have to wait for something to go by and yeah kill yourself the on it. yeah which there's constant bats and fish yeah, I can see this as a puzzle area because you can't jump that high, so you prob you have to you have to approach it from the right hand side. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, yeah. No. But how do you get there? Oh, you have to go up. Whatever. So puzzly. Mm hmm Puzzle. Yeah. I still can't get up. Ugh. Oh, how do you get that one? That one looks tough. Now. Go way up and fall and fall and fall. Probably. Oh, <gasps> I thought I could go up. Start over. Oh, it's right where it was. I'm going to get that one. Oh, so there's one there. You just have to be slightly more to the left. Left. Oh, nope. Nope. Uh, A little bit to the right. A little bit to the right. Nice. Oh. Oh. But I can jump that far. Nope, oh, a little bit little further. A little bit further. Follow that wall down. Instant. There. So that's the wall. Oh, oh, so close. Next time. I love how fast he goes up ladders. Because, <laughs> so fast. because it would be frustrating oh, if it so was like tedious. wrong, 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 it wrong. Would it would just take forever. So you really need the speed to keep the gameplay fun. Yep. He zips up those ladders. Oh. Hooray! Oh, Woohoo! Whole 18. <laughs> 18 of them. How many are there? Uh, it's not noted, oh, okay. <laughs> actually. So it doesn't get hard, no. And like jumping up ladders is hard work, or yeah. climbing up ladders is hard work. It is. Hey, fishy, fishy. Yeah. Fishy, hey, fishy, fishy. Fishy, 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 fishy. Oh, very oh, nice. God. He's on my level. Oh, no, I fish. The bats didn't oh, Ooh. didn't really do that. They don't really go on the level where you're standing. They're always above no. or below the level. Funny. Of the six graphics modes on the 7800, 320C and 320D have weird restrictions. That means they're not really used, and I guess because of that, nobody's taken the time to explain them in simple terms. That That's what I'm looking for. Just full explanation. Like, oh, what, what is the... What is the bit depth of the color of the of backgrounds and just 
Oh, you could have gone up there. I think I can. I do it. Let's see if I'll jump as... Oh, all I need to do is this. Oh, no. Oh, no, no. You have then to go up. up. You have to go oh. up and jump. Yeah. Right from the top. Yeah. Nope. No, you can't. Wait, where did you jump from last time, then? I don't know. Maybe it was up a bit more? No. You jumped from there. Oh, I jumped off the ladder. No, yeah. fall. I didn't yeah. fall. Yeah, I don't think you can fall. No, it didn't work. You have to jump off. Jump off the ground. Is it? Yes. You have to jump off the ground. Try it, try it from jumping off the ground. So jump right off there. the ground. Okay. Ah. Uh, I, I think, think I you can. can do it. Yeah, yeah, I think you can do it. Just have to go right to the edge. There yeah, we go. Ah, nice. I'm guessing you haven't been here. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, we've been you here. have. It's just the, that's the easy way to get here. Yeah. Uh, let's go all the way to the right because I'm not sure I did last no, time. No, I think you went down something. I don't know if this thing hmm. wraps around or no, there's I don't a wall think so. on the I think yeah, there's a wall. There, there's ah, oh, here's some new oh, areas. Oh, oh, you can possibly go in there. Uh, oh no, you didn't respawn. You can you can try a closer respawn point. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I could. You want me to do with that? Yeah, just it's just right a little in bit. Here, right? There it is. There's one there. There's one closer too. I think. Ooh, ooh, I can't get out of this. You can't can get I? out of that. No, you don't want to. Oh, do that. No. oh no. Ah, I'll wait for the bat to kill me. Yeah. Good job. Yeah, because I don't want to. Yeah, there's a respawn point up. Um, if I'm not mistaken. Wee! It's so much fun jumping these huge distances yeah. too. Wee wee wee! It's just a fun game. It is a fun game. And don't go down. Yeah. So huge. Massive. So there's a respawn point there. Oh, and yeah, you I can go. Bong. And then you can. Not a lot of sounds in the game. <laughs> yeah, so then. So I'm going to get that one first. You have to kind of hit the up in the right spot. Oh. No. I think you can only fall from the ladder. Yeah. <sighs> nice and down. Nice. I bet there's something in there. Oh, jumping across? Maybe. It's okay. What are you doing, Atari? He's found a cord he wants to suck on. Yeah. Oh. Bad cat. Bad cat. Oh, Whoa. propane 13. <laughs> Warning, this section is one of the tougher areas of the game. I'm not Excellent. surprised. We want the tough areas. <sighs> That's a little close. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, uh, yeah, that's why it's tough. Let's get higher, higher up. Because of the bat, too. Mm. Ugh, interfering. Mm. Bat fearance, yeah. Bat fearance. <gasps> oh, I should have been higher. It's not bad to be higher because um, you don't jump. That's the danger. Of <laughs> Too high, but. God. No. Yep. You have to just Ooh, do it right. But not too high. But yeah, and you don't want to. You don't want to clip that. Uh, That's right. Mine there. <gasps> have to be you have to be that. right at the top. Wow. Oh. oh. Okay. We'll play this for a second. Yeah. <laughs> <Very thirsty. laughs> you need a break. Thirsty. Yeah. Um, 7800 basic guide is a pretty good overview of each in pretty clear ter terms. I think the tricky part is in creating the artwork. A lot easier to author and export artwork from other formats. Okay. Um, PMP oh. has mm -hmm. used uh, three t those 320 modes a few times. Doesn't Pac-Man 40 it use it? Mm. Uh, good evening. Oh, good evening, goodness. Frozen. Well, I think Froggy uses oh. that mode too. Too close. Mm. So it's a trade-off between 
Do I want to keep doing this or do I want to? <laughs> Resolution and number of colors. You can tackle a different area if you don't want to do well, that. I don't know. And I guess what other abilities are you sacrificing? Oh, come on. With different modes. I'm going to go down. Besides the resolution and number of colors with the different modes, does it limit the number of sprites you can put on the screen or put on a line? Because I, it, you it seems in the demos, which that? Yeah, did you go that? that? No, it's very hard. <laughs> All of it's very hard. <laughs> oh, you have to be right at the top. Wow. Yeah, off the top. Oh, thanks, thanks, Bido 8-Bit, for that link. I'll have to get that afterwards. Let's see. Because I want to be able to speak about 7800 games in a bit more depth. Because right now I'm just like, yeah, this is a cool game. Oh, I paled myself. And I'm terrain. Which is a big big website 7800 basic then under graphics okay oh man okay let's Console see if switches. i can do that graphics i love how fast he goes up type. those ladders it's awesome oh, very what cool are you doing? what are you doing pay attention uh, the graphics chip in the 7800 is called the uh, Maria. The Maria was designed, blah, blah, blah. Here's three modes. Oh, Maria is capable of three graphic displays. 160A, 320A, and 320B. I swear people have listed more than that. Each of these graphic, graphic modes is capable of displaying sprites or characters in its regular format or an alternate format. Okay. <laughs> so there's two var two variations of each. <laughs> By the way, but to paraphrase a quote about music, there are two types of games, good and bad. I like both. <laughs> uh, so 160A is 160 by 192. 320A is 360 by 192, so that's very straightforward. Uh, number of colors in addition to transparent. Oh, come on, I just keep clipping myself. Um, so you get three colors plus transparent on 160A, one color plus transparent on 320A, and then three colors plus transparent on 320B. I'm so close. Now, why wouldn't you all? Now, what's the advantage of 160? I don't see the difference. Oh, okay, restrictions. No restrictions on 160A. The restrictions on 320B requires a pair of pixels to use the same palette. 320D requires the pixels in odd columns to use the first two palette colors, the pixels in even columns to use the last two palette colors. Wow. Wrap your head around that. They went for the straight for the expert mode area. Now you can go down instead. You can figure it out. No, you can't go down there, but... Um, Have you got anywhere? No. It's like you can see what you need to do, but it's just so precise. I'm just going to throw that controller. <laughs> <laughs> do not throw that controller. Yeah, uh, that controller would do a ton of damage. Yeah. But yeah, this this chart is really good, really really good. Oh, well, I got somewhere. I'm terrified now. I'm gonna <laughs> die. Don't die. You're doing so well. There you go. Yay! Oh. And that's the one, the one thing you get from that area that you just all okay. went through. You have to kind of loop around, I I'm guess. I'm gonna have to jump. Yeah. Uh, and die. And die. Insta death. But I think it just takes you back to where you were. Okay. Maybe. Next one. You can do it. I can do it. Toga Mario Cheers! Yay! Hey. Yeah. There you go. Oh, oh. no! So I'll Panic! Read, Panic! 
So I'll read up about that after the show, now that I know there's that's a really good spot. Oh yeah, this is this is really good. Okay, oh, thank you very much for that link. Enough. Thing is, you have to go so high up just to start that hard area. You done that one? No. Which one are you doing? This one. Okay. Mm. Caught your leg. I know. And then you have to go up all the way back up again. Is that the top part? I don't know. Yeah, it is. Is it? Yeah. So you did one of the three diamonds in that area. There's another fourth one that you saw at the very top right, but I think that's a different. You have to go a different way to get that one. I'm so scared. So scared. You did it. You did it. Almost. Not yet. Hooray! So you can get to that other ladder. I don't know if you need to get. <laughs> ah! It's so sensitive. Do you want? Do you want to go? Should I try another? You don't area? need to get to that ladder. No? Um, yep. Yeah, I want to go. My turn. Okay. You did great. You did awesome. Whoa. Uh, She's going to throw that controller. <laughs> which one did you get? Hmm? Did you get all three in here? I got... So there's one that was there. Yeah. Yeah. We got, got all that... three. We yep. got all okay. three. So yeah. I one... got the other one and then I got this, that there's upper There's one, one right at the top. Yeah. That you need to that get... That I Oh, haven't. you need to get to that ladder. How did you... That ladder? Right there. And yeah. And then hop over. Yeah, hop that over. was the one I would have gotten to. You have do you to redo. Up? So you have to fall through and redo the whole area I just finished. The, yeah. Oh, I know. the second So one. you drop from there, get on the ladder, jump across. Okay. Yeah. I, I smashed my head, which is an unfortunate. Ugh. Yeah. Actually, that, no, that's. Sorry. Is that how you get there? What are you doing? Stop it. Is that how you get there? Well, that's one way to get there, at least. Oh, my God. Yes, yes. Oh, my gosh. That's a really complicated spot. <laughs> Pixel got mad at Atari scratching. Yeah? He went, Meh. Yeah, so you have to go across there. Watch, yeah. He always comes by. Then go right across and up. Yeah. Ah, so it's challenging, going. but it's doable. Yeah. Uh, yeah, today is a special time today because of the holiday. Normally we're at 6 p.m. Yeah. I mean, someday you'll get it. You'll get uh, Darcy back and then you can do some uh, Friday midday ones. But uh, so yeah. it's going to be a little while. Yeah, that's. Until that happens again. That's... That used to be. That used to be regular. That here. used to be the regular time. Noon. Yeah. yeah. Or one. Or one. Somewhere. Whichever it was. Yeah. But it's Good Friday, so. Good Friday. My good work decided good to tell me you don't need to come in. So Hooray! Hurrah! Well, you've got a you've got a little loafed cat. I don't know if he's on. He's not on sc screen, but. He's like almost on screen. No, oh, little guy. Uh, I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Toka Mario. Well, the good news is if you make it through here, you can practically beat the rest of the game. Because this is the hardest. Yeah. Well, we only have one. We got three out of four. It's all the mines. Oh, it's all the upper, you know, the fact that you can smash your head yes. accidentally and re -ha have to restart from scratch again. Just be careful. Don't move too fast when you're rowing up the ladders. Yep. So then you... Yeah. Oh, I caught it. Okay, so then go to the top. Then yes. okay, so I'll Oh no, you can't. I have to go over it. <gasps> oh what? my god. It's the wrong one? No, no. Uh Holy shit. Yeah. I, I think I know. One. Yeah, you're going to have to get to that platform, which is going to be challenging, I think. Mm. No, you're not going to Are you going to fall? Oh, okay. Then get to that ladder. Is this what you did? No, I didn't get this far. Oh, oh baby. Can you get to that ladder? I from think jumping? so. I think so. And then if you get to that ladder, then you can get that that one you're missing. Oh my god! Yeah, that yeah, is the ladder. That right? is the ladder. Yeah. That is challenging because you have hard. to do that all over again. Wow. That one just doesn't seem like it's possible to get mm. there. 
That's quite a jump. I think you can. It's I. That might be the only way you can do it. I think that's the only way. Stop you, it! I think you have to. I, I think that's the only path to that you can to get that diamond. The top. No, because that's a big divide. Okay, so you might not be. I, I kind of think you probably can't. This, this guy has miracle jumps. He does. Yeah. This is definitely oh, challenging. Jesus. Definitely challenging. Eighty-one deaths. Woohoo! <laughs> you know, Eighty-one <laughs> deaths. You finished the game on one oh nine. Well, that's pretty good. I don't think we're anywhere oh near finishing God. the game. It took him an hour. Yeah. We're only eight thirty-eight minutes. <laughs> I don't know how many diamonds there are though. Oh Jesus. Like this is not even the hard part. Get away! <laughs> Yeah, you, this you just have to be take it slow. Yeah. And then you get uh, to watch out. Which one is it? It's now up. up, up. Yeah, it's up. I wonder. I don't think there's anything down. And then you fall. All right. Yeah, and then you want to jump over to that. Oh, that is Ooh. a good jump. Oh, okay. Now this is hard. Okay, so. Yeah, to jump to across. Jump and yeah. And then you want to come back. <gasps> I'd be right on the edge. Oh, man. Uh, right on the edge. I didn't know because I thought, oh, if oh. I go too far, I'll hit the... Are there any other... Uh, no. Oops. <laughs> Don't jump off that. Hmm. Yeah. You guys are killing it on the ladder sequences. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> Why not go for the hardest part and then the rest of it seems easy? Yeah. They're hissing at each other. They're naughty cats. Okay. Mm. The map definitely helps. Did it! <sighs> wow. No congratulations. Yay! <laughs> okay. Good job. Oh, you're going down? Well, there's oh. no real other I guess you go. can't go. Yeah. So, what area should I do next? The well, underground. we certainly haven't gotten everything, but we can see more. We haven't seen the overground, really, either. No. I mean, can you even get back there? I hope so. Let's try and get back. Let's do from top to bottom now. Can you get back? This is the This is the I question. I bet you can. Ah. They do... Those bats... I guess so, the bats appear depending so it, on... It, in this area, there are there is um, a diamond to get if you want to try and get it. Oh, Jesus. This area? Uh, yeah. So, where are you? There you are. Bottom right. Okay. So, go to the left. And then, where is it? This I mean, that's second cheating. one. Why is it cheating? Because it shows exactly where everything is. Oh. And kind of how to get to them. Okay. So, don't go down. Just stay on this level. So this, this. Ooh. Okay. There. Okay. Up. Uh, next one. Next one. Next one. Okay. Stop here. Oh, and avoid. Okay. I think. Yeah. You want to go down this. So the, the chasm right next to you on the left. <laughs> um, okay. Wait. Wait. Wait before you fall. So you want to fall. No, no. Okay. So you're going to fall down that hole. Yes. And then. So you cheating. Want, you want to drop to the left there. There. So cheaty. It's not I don't that know cheating. if this is a good idea. Okay, to do. well we don't need to. No, do cheaty don't cheese. don't do that. We we don't need to do that. I wanted to go up. Now you're leading me down. No. Would you want me to tell you how to go up? Yes. Because be you're good. you're gonna struggle to figure that. I think out. I'm gonna die because this is. Okay. I'm way too far down. Here. I don't know if you can, but. Yes, where you got your last gem? Go left to get to the old overworld. Okay. Oh, when I got where I got my last gem. Yeah. I have to do that direction? Like that that way? There must be an easier way than doing that all over again. That seems like a nightmare. Must be a ladder up somewhere that I can grab. 
in this direction. I don't know. Oh my god! Maybe there isn't. But there's more to explore if you keep going down and left. Yeah, yeah. I think you might have to, yeah. Oh, I have to do that again? You'd have to do that whole sequence again to get to, right to the top. Okay. That's okay. Got a, lot the, of a lot of experience at it. By the look at it, of it. Yeah. yeah, just go down. A lot of experience now at it. Ah, oh, you have to be back a bit. Yeah, mm. oh, interesting. Oh, I see, I see. Because why not play this game to completion? <laughs> well, I don't think we're going <laughs> to. We'll be here for a while. Oh, you got a good chunk oh, so far. Oh, are you back up here? Oh, okay. Where yes, are you? Yes, of course. Um, yeah, you just go to the left. <gasps> oh, save maybe. Save there. But do I need to hop up there? Um, or is that save point fine to do? Can you check? It looks like that save point's fine. Yeah? Yeah. I'm going to try and hop up anyway. Try up it. Oh, yeah, good. Yeah, keep going left. I should keep going do that left. save point. <laughs> yeah. Because that, it's onerous. Can do you I? think you can, I don't know. I can I? There is a ladder at the far edge there. Yeah. And then you would jump. Yeah, okay. okay. Uh, can you? Is yeah. there a ladder at this edge? There's enough. Yeah. There's enough. Okay. That I can do it. Yeah. I'm not, I just don't want to do that over and, oh God. Over and over go. again all the time. Yeah. It's just a pain in the ass. There you go. It's a bit of annoyance to get back up, but... <laughs> UIDO 8-bit. You're killing me! Save! <laughs> yeah. Save! Yeah. Well, I don't want to save at a bad spot. No, yeah, Just exactly. in case. It's a good thing there are Not those maps. light bulbs. Yeah, they look cool. Oh, there's Jim. Uh, you might... <clears throat> Jesus. <gasps> Pay attention! Bat. Oh, no, it did the... Oh, no. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> okay, in the forum. That was stressful. <laughs> in the forum, it does say on real hardware it crashes after a while. Oh no. Yeah. Oh no. On emulation, it, on emulation, it doesn't crash. No. Yeah. But we can reset and explore the. Top. Yeah, we'll, we'll explore the upper level. So I do want to show off some more of the stuff. Mm. It's okay. So go up and up and up and up. Avoid. Oh, yeah, all the. Everything's respawned. <laughs> That's the one reason I was never able to finish it, Propane says. Yeah. I wish you could finish it because it's such an awesome game. I don't know how easy that is to trace it down. Yeah, because I read in the forums that, that you gave it a try once in a while well, it's so dark up here um but you couldn't track down that memory leak fire Woo. Oh my God. the game got lost yeah <laughs> <laughs> it got lost in its own memory yeah fires fires it's fire there um so I shouldn't be looking at this. You should just be playing. Yes. Sorry. It's tempting. So let's go right to the edge. <gasps> Jesus. What are you doing? There's one right there. I'm going to get that one. I'm going to go on that checkpoint. Maybe somebody will look at this game now and uh, help you out with that memory leak. Because mm. um, it is definitely worthy of finishing this up because it's, it's, do it's so done. Good. Right? It's so good. He can finish this game and play it and um and complete it mm -hmm. it just crashes on real hardware so there's something going on somewhere oh i wonder if i can jump from here nope, no. not quite. oh killed my baddie it's okay right here yeah 
That's why you need checkpoints for such a vast game. Yeah. Okay. It's like a good platform. Come on. Uh, no, can't get it from there. No. It's one of those things where it's like, here's a gem. I like how it, it shakes. It ah. shakes at you. Ah. It shakes. The gem shakes when it comes on the screen. Ah. Is it? Ooh, yes, it does. I don't know if that's intentional or not. No, it, it, it is. It is. It's like, hi, I'm here. Oh, you can't get me. Sorry. So there's one over there. So let's try that. Yeah, you don't can. Don't jump into fire immediately. You can, you can fall into the wall. Uh, I know you have to go to the left first, I think. No, you have to go to. The... Oh, is there a spot? Yes, there is. Safe? In the wall. Yeah. Jumping. Oh, I see. Ah. I see. I thought it was a timing thing. Mm. Help. Looks like a good platformer. Mm. It. Mano 117, thank you for following. Yeah. Oh. oh my god. Just. Should I try for the right? I think so. Nice. This is a ladder. Let's explore a little bit. Okay. Can fall. Yep, I think I'm going to do that. Toga Mario, thank you for following. Yay. Glad you're enjoying our playing. Yes. There we go. Ah. I can't get it. Oh, where's this? Oh, springy. Boing. Ooh. Whoa! Oh my God, that's cool. Uh oh. But I'm you're not at start. a checkpoint. Oh no. Not at a checkpoint. Nice spring. Yeah. Oh. And then, after you figure out the memory leak, you need to make a get lost maker. So people can construct their own levels. Oh, yeah. That would be amazing. Oh, my God. No, you, you can't do that. You've done that twice. You keep dying. Go there, and oh. then go down one. Oh. Don't get hit by the... the what? <laughs> Not when there's a bat there? Not when there's a bat there. Get out of here, bat. Get out of here. Yeah, a get lost construction set. Mm. Okay. What was it? Jump. And then. Oh, oh, I can get the ladder. Even better. Nice. Even better. One up. Do, 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 do. Nice. Oh, Jesus. I don't think you can. Uh... Oh, my God. I don't think you can do that. <laughs> uh, you could possibly fall on the top of that. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Maybe that you looks can. like a thing. No. Oh no. Where it's like, well, there's only one way down here, and you have to fall like this. And then now, left or right? Probably right. Probably should have paid attention when you ran up. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Now you have options. <gasps> there it is. Ooh, good Probably job. Go down there. Yeah. You always want to. Oh. Go for the hardest thing. Oh my gosh, you're still in the same spot. Checkpoint. Checkpoint. Point. Blah. Nope. I want to go back to that <gasps> spring. It looked like fun. That did. <laughs> did look like fun. It, it, it's so. <sighs> Don't jump, just fall. <laughs> It's always funny in games where they're huge, or they're puzzle games. Mm -hmm. It's like move that piece left. When did you say that? Yeah. <laughs> I'm like ten. You see ten the moves chat? In. Yeah, yeah. A little. It's so late. hard to describe. Yeah. How to play to somebody over chat? Oh yeah. Oh, I have to jump it now. Mm. I'm just gonna fall to the right. Oh, you can do the whole thing there. Oh. Ah. So hard. What? Just fall down and then move. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell when you're getting tired, too. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, no, you just go straight down and then go over. You don't have to what? go over that quickly. Just go straight down. It Maybe it, not. No. I don't know what, how I did that one time. Because I, I fell just 
perfectly, and it was I had tons yeah. more time. It was very strange. Something about the timing. <clears throat> but now I can't do it anymore, so that's okay. I'll go to the boing, boing, boing spring. Oh. What did I do? I think it was like down here. Yeah. What's over here first? Oh, a gem. Mm, easy gem. Oh, a tree. Oh, what's that? It's a gem. In a oh, house on a tree. Yeah. I wonder if you can easily get oh, there from no. jumping off that guy. No. Oh, maybe jumping off him. Might be high enough. What? Where are the checkpoints? Nope. No. You have, you to, have fall to fall onto on it. Brutal. So okay, I'm wait, explore wait. First. Yeah. What is that? It's a Mario flag. Oh, there's another, another spring. spring. I just there must be a save point somewhere. Do you think? There. Yeah. Now you can get back to the springs. Oh. Oh. Pff. What is that? A fire. Very oh, tiny bits of fire. It's like ah, it's ah, too, ah, 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 just too, too hard. I'm not gonna do huge the trees. No, I want to see what's there first. Game's huge. <laughs> it's huge. awesome. Yeah. Oh, it's huge. Oh, there's like a gem just floating in midair up there. Oh, that's a tough one. It's right in between yeah, two. Yeah, you have to just time your fall perfectly. Oh, my God. It's a nightmare game. Uh -huh. mm. I'm going to go to the right. Mm -hmm. You still have that save point on the other side. so. Should I go right? Very right? I think so. Mm -hmm. Just to see what's over there. <laughs> okay. Oh my goodness. Okay, we're doing springs. All right, springs we're not doing that again. Side. Yeah. That's a long way up. Okay. Oh, not there. Uh, uh, other spring then. <laughs> the other spring was there any fine. use for this spring? No, it's just no. No, no I think it's no. pretty much covered. I think you want to go past it. I'm gonna try it to the left first. Okay. Before I write off this one. No. no. <laughs> that spring's a decoy. It is a false spring. It is a spring of death. Yep. Bats, constant bats. Oh, oh God. you keep going up. You have to navigate as you go up. As but, you go up, but you have to pretty much <laughs> memorize though. <laughs> left, left, right, yeah. left. Uh, oh, bats from off screen coming to get me. Oh, I seem to have walked right over that. Oh, hit my head. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's one. Th oh my god. This is nightmarish. No, oh. no, you have to fall back down to that one. Oh my goodness. Stop it. <gasps> the bats. Oh. The bats of doom. appear one above where you are yeah kind of i'm gonna let it go no no but in your vicinity oh my god oh, the bats the bats spawn in a specific wave pattern lol yeah they, uh, do. they seem to like near you one above you one below you one do above they, you do they do below oh, one above one below i think Maybe not. Maybe not. Not exactly. Oop, did I just buy, go past yes, both springs? Yes, you did. Yeah. Playing with the bats. <laughs> just looking at bat wave patterns. So then you go up, Hit then you head. fall. No, you want it to fall down the other side. Oh. You want to, then you want to fall down and fall over. It's easy. It's way easy to watch it and provide it instruction than it is to actually do it yourself. So, and then you want to go over. 
Yeah. Oh my god, instant. As soon as you clear it, you have to go to the right. Yeah. Oh. oh. I don't know why, but Get Lost kind of seems like a master system platformer running on a C64. <laughs> yes. The sprites and art style are C64-ish, but yes. the huge jumps and some of the whimsy factor seems like it'd be at home on the S. MS. Yes, yeah. I agree. It has this. It does Very have 64. a C64 like vibe going like on. Like the the sprites, they yes. really look like C64. I don't know why. Yeah, I agree. Maybe it's the color of the guy. The, yeah. That really pinky pink, mm -hmm. purpley pink. Uh, Spring sent me into him. God. It's because you're going from right to left. Yes. They're way easier when you're going from I'm left going to into right. Him. <gasps> Too, Too far. far. Okay, I'm not doing those. That, that's just painful. You've had enough. Do you want me to play for a bit? Yeah, yeah. Your turn. I'm going to try. It's the wide pixels in the 160 mode that gives it the C64 look. Oh. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I it, thought you could walk over it. 160, the... That's right. Are they all double pixels? I think they... Oh, are they all oh, double pixels? I think they are. Mm-hmm. I think you're right. It's just the mode. Hi. How are you doing? Hi. 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 160 B has oh, so close. 12 colors and two pixel width characters. So is he, did he say he was using 160 B in this? Let's see. Why is this on video? Oh, I'm just so close. Get. Get. Now that I know a little bit about this, what did... He's very affectionate all of a sudden. Hey! Yes. He's... No food? Food? Food. He didn't say. Um, so, oh, so he did briefly return to the game in 2016 when he was investigating a freeze when people are using um, real hardware. But um, And then in 2017... Somebody asked, or Brad1978 asked, was this effort offered on cart at some point? I would love a copy. He said, hello there. Sadly, the game was never finished. There were a few features I was going to add. Music, good title screen, ending screen, and a save feature that was hardware dependent that never made it into the shuffle. Unfortunately, before I could get to those, a critical bug was found. Basically, on real hardware, your game can tend to freeze. It's unrecoverable without a full reset. That bug also hit when I was moving, so I had to put it back uh put it away my development efforts for a while i frankly have found it hard to get back into it my development environment has been upgraded since the last build so i know i can make it work on mac now which is good for me but i'll probably yeah. get it to get to it someday there have been some good debugging suggestions on this thread and the emulators <clears throat> emulators have caught up a lot from where they were a few years ago so you never know uh, i wish i had better news but that's the current stage of things um, from the looks of it, it's, it's, it'll be using 160A. Uh, Atari 2600, dude. Yes, this is the 7800. This would be a miracle on the <laughs> 2600. And a lot more flashing. Yeah. A lot more flashing. Um, then he returned to the thread this year. I mean, he's in the chat. It's kind of weird talking about him like this. <laughs> uh, Revenge said, in case the bug is keeping you from working on this gem, heads up that a few uh, Atari Age 7800 coders collaborated on a debugging on ancient game platforms article at the wiki. I personally implemented some ideas in the common causes of catastrophe, catastrophic problems section inside 7800 basic. And they've helped a fair bit with these sort of random errors. Specifically, I, I implemented a canary check and IRQ detection routines. Both sorts of problems now will trigger a dump of stack values to the screen and then run out the KIL opcode to stop everything cold. This lets you know which address triggered the problems, which is often the smoking gun. Not harassing you to return. 
one shouldn't feel pressure to do one's hobby. Just letting you know there might be a more positive path forward with this project. So he said, hey, that's neat. I think the only issue I have with this game was it was written in assembly. Are the, fi are the fixes limited to 7800 basic or is there some code ported to the emulators as well? If memory serves, the problem never manifested itself on emulators, but specifically real hardware. You could just sit on a screen for a long period of time and uh, it would uh, happen. Um, 160B combines the first four and last four palettes, allow for two palettes of 12 colors each. Hmm. Oh, how oh, they put the, put the pixel, pixel. Oh, you're gonna die. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Close, so close. That one got me last time. Because there's not enough room. Especially in the bats going right in the middle. There's no room to get past or to, you have one pixel above you and one below because you're like eight pixels tall or whatever. And the ladder's eight pixels tall and the bat's eight pixels tall. Oh, well, there you go. Yeah, it no. gets you because you can't, I oh. feel like you can't quite. Uh... The world looks huge. It is gigantic. Oh. There's the world. Can't really see it, but um, in the thread there's a map. Uh, on the plus side, I'm glad the bug happened here. Now that we have some video footage of it, it's true. So you can maybe if it's dependent upon variable <laughs> that was close variables of where you are, or what you're carrying, or the time. It's possible the time uh, that it quits at a certain time where there's a rollover of something or an overflow. I don't think I was getting anything. It just kind of crashed in the yeah. middle of doing something yeah. or not doing something. So you could at least take a look at that footage if it helps anything. Might be able to work backwards. Yeah, if you could like set the time to it and the loot and kind of where I was. I don't know if that helps. Ooh. Now remember, those are all in a row. Mm -hmm. So just don't be where those are. I'm just going to fall back to the ground. There you go. That might be somewhere different. Uh -huh. That might be the right most of the screen. Oh, oh it is. Spring. Ooh. Is this area accessible? Oh, it wasn't. This is a special area. Is it? Yeah, because you, you can't get out of here. Except with the spring. Interesting. Oh, it shoots you up. Oh, okay. As soon as you uh, move, it stops. Brutal. Yeah. I wanted to get down to that bottom. So you have to come back up and back down. But then oh I'm like, well, I wanted to see that area too. So. Oh, God. Yeah. Is There's very... one gem there. Where? Well, it, where up and down. It's yeah. just one gem. That's all there is. Oh. I don't know if you want to do all that. I don't know. I'm hungry. I, uh, I, yeah, I we don't didn't know have how lunch. much longer I can do this for. Yeah. Well, make it your point to get one more gem. Yeah. Okay. Sounds maybe that one at the bottom. Uh, that's a bit boring. Get that one, maybe. Uh, we'll see. Yeah, you fall down the left, um, the bricks, and then you just go. Boop. Ugh, I hate it. It's timing. <laughs> timing is off sometimes. Oh, yeah, I'm hungry. Mm -hmm. No, you're dead. Yeah, I hate that. You can't. Maybe higher is better. Maybe there is a way. <sighs> From the t last time the uh, bat got you, you have to time it. The hitbox is a square. Yeah. So he didn't even touch you, your pixel there. Yeah, I have to be down just a pixel lower, and maybe yeah. maybe I can avoid him, or maybe not. You maybe I be have able to. to. No, that's what you have to do. You I have know. to get past him. Yeah. You almost want to do it where the you bat is not. You want to time the bat. Yeah. Yeah. So you wait for the bat to come on, and then you go through it. Well, not yet. Which one are you gonna do? You know, gonna go down the ladder. You're gonna try and for that gem that's like just off the wall. <laughs> it's going down. She's 
going down the ladder. If I die, I'm not doing this again. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the good thing about this game, is you have unlimited lives. Yeah. So you can just keep trying and trying for the same gem until you get it, and then you're done. And you don't have to worry about, you know, having not enough lives to complete the game. Oh, why did I do that? Oh, oh I'm not doing it. Here. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So, I think we're done this game. Yeah. I'm going to spring into it. Not that spring. No. I'm going to spring into oblivion. Spring to the left. Oh, boing. Left. Yeah. Oh. oh. Oh, I want to try that. I haven't. Yeah, I haven't. I didn't make that Oops. part. Get that cat. Bad cat. Yeah, Destroying bad cat. furniture. Yeah, he's like. Destroying furniture. I always thought it, this would be fun to watch speedrunners play. Yes, when they oh when they God. know they know it intimately and they know every. This yeah. would be a good one. Yeah. Nope. So you don't want to hit your head on that. Man, we might survive it. Though. Um, do you want to go to the left of that? I guess. Yeah. Probably. Oh. Yay! Yay! Good job. You can probably jump over it's it good, even. Good. Um, uh oh. God, thanks. Um, to the right. Yeah, try. So. See if you can jump over that. No. You don't think so? It's too far. No. I go back down. Make my way back down. But that's a good end to the game. Yes. Or I got an extra. Boing. I got an extra gem. Hooray! That must be an Acme spring. <laughs> yes. It is. Very, very efficient spring. <gasps> Those are great games today. They are. All so, of them so puzzly and fun. That's so we great. played Worm, which needs a four-way joystick. Yeah. To be, it's, um, it's very sensitive. Effective. Very sensitive. Yeah. yeah. yeah so yep, it yep, doesn't yep. register but diagonals. It only registers left or right. I was down. getting very frustrated with that. Yeah. yeah. Very challenging it. game. You definitely want to put it on easy mode to begin with. Yeah. Uh, Into the Void, very promising shooter. Yeah, just the st the, the beginnings, but it yep. looked really cool. It handles well. Good explosion well. of the big ship at the yep. end. Looks good. Yeah. Shots are fun. Looking forward to all the power-ups. Mm -hmm. What is Cat's doing? I don't know. He's doing bad stuff. Um, Dungeon Stalker, very fun game. Uh, needs to be put on expert. <laughs> I have to go the opposite way with that one. Mm. Uh, to, to make it, I find, challenging enough. But mm. if it's too hard... There's definitely easy modes yep. that'll let you play for a long time. Um, uh, yeah, that's a really good one. It's available mm -hmm. on cartridge. Just as, as oh, they're getting in behind. Can you? <laughs> hey, cats are worming their way into storage. Get oh, out. get out there. It's bad. Bring them on the yeah, bring them on the screen. They're gonna be on the screen for the last little bit. That's right. You're a bad kitty. Um, and get lost. Um, this is a bad cat. Incredibly this good is what game. A bad cat. Super fun. Yeah, you are a bad mm. cat. Yes, you are. Um, hope uh, Propane's able to... I uh, told you so. <laughs> uh, hope Propane is able to find that bug, or somebody's able to help him find that bug. Mm. Because this deserves to be on cartridge. Oh, it's so much fun. It's so good, and the yeah. replay value of this, or the long-term play value, because he's at, planning on adding save uh, ability to save your game oh which would cool. make it awesome yes 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 like we i would play this to the very very end if this had save mm. uh save function on it and and can be played on hardware too mm -hmm. um so please please keep working on it or somebody please help them out um to to narrow down this bug now that we have lots of options for playing it on hardware um people should be able to um help them out um yeah, so those are the four games. Lots of fun today. Mm -hmm. uh, Dance is great show and games. Yes, they great are. cats? I don't know. Bad <laughs> cats today. Bad cats today. Mm -hmm. um, so thanks for hanging out with us, everyone. Uh, coming up. Oh, that's a video. What is this? What's going on? Um, coming up on the show, oh, we're going to be playing some 2600 games. On Tuesday, I have no idea yet what they are. Haven't figured it out. Yep. Um, development has slowed down a little bit. <laughs> the 2600. It's like this. 7800. Like still moving forward. Yeah. But uh, 
So, but I might have to dig in the archives, or maybe we do a, a high score challenge, mm -hmm. or an Activision patch challenge, or something. What happened to my own game? Uh, the one that was with cats in it, that somebody else made. No, for no, me? your game that you're making. No time. No time. <laughs> uh, other things took time over that <laughs> you we, we like this show doing it twice a week and work doing you know are you, are you were work. working it and then you started ramping up for the um the award show so i think you haven't really gotten back to it since the award yeah. show yeah You've the award show as well and there's, lots of special shows there's so. a nut there's one more special show there is developer spotlight mm -hmm. coming up next friday mm -hmm. so that's something else there is the secret new homebrew from champ games that's another big thing well i don't have to actually prepare anything for that <laughs> like i literally cannot prepare anything for that yeah you don't so know that, what it is i actually so. kind of like those shows yeah <laughs> <laughs> because it's fun because you get to discover new homebrew but yeah. i have to do nothing yeah. and just dedicate the whole show to that yeah because you know it's going to be a really really good game that uh, you're going to get a lot of play out of with champ games um um, so then after that's a break. So I might be able to get back to my game during, during the your break. break. Yeah. yeah. Good. Um, so that's what happened to it. But there is a zero page homebrew game that I'm going to be writing the manual for and doing the artwork. So that's going to be coming out. And that is just going to be released for free. Mm -hmm. um, so people can download it. And then I'm going to make a bunch of cartridges to give away on the show. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know how I'm going to give them away yet, but, uh, you know, skill testing question uh, <laughs> we'll that we have to answer out. like we do in Canada. Yeah. <laughs> um, have I been playing Circus Convoy much? Uh, no, I've been so busy. Not lately. I'm waiting for my cartridge. Yeah. So then I can register the cartridge high and scores. The everything. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's probably when I'll play it again mm -hmm. when it's, when it comes on cartridge. Yeah. Um, and I don't want to play it on the show cause I know everything. I know all the secrets. Yeah. <laughs> and people got up in arms about me playing yeah, it. Yeah. yeah. So I'll let them discover yeah. that. And then we'll go back to it, right? Um, yeah. Re-up the video? No, because it's not a full playthrough. And now I know how to do a full playthrough. So I'll probably just do a different video. Yeah. Um, and do every star. Yeah. Um, so that's probably what I'll do if I... Uh, if you, if we, if you yeah. go back to it. And yeah. the other video has old references now that don't make any sense <laughs> so um i probably won't re-up the video yeah it's pointless yeah perfectionist yeah, yeah. gotta get all the stars yeah and if i'm gonna do a full run want to do a full full run yeah i thought i would get it in early but yeah people were mad <laughs> <laughs> they got mad at me showing secrets off too early that's okay they didn't have to watch it <laughs> um so the developer spotlight is next friday it is at the normal time because you will be here after work. I will. Uh, so 6 p.m. It's with Bob De Crescenzo. Yep. Uh, Pac-Man Plus. He has a huge archive of games that we're going to be playing. I have a bunch of them on cartridge, so be playing them on cartridge. Yep. I don't think he's made any 2600 games, but I'll, I'll have to take a look. Maybe he did. Um, but I am putting together questions for that, and I'll reach out to you guys for questions. Mm. I'll put that in the forum. Um... Then we're going to be playing random games for a month or so. Uh, we've got some high score challenges. Tower of Rubble, Edtris 2600 for various things. Um, and the summer break, and the, the Champ Games is on May 14th. Mm. And then after that, there's a spring summer break for a little bit. Mm -hmm. I don't know how long. Um, we'll see. Mm. Maybe I'll redo some of the graphics for the show. Make an intro for the show. It'll be nice. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think that's about all the things. I don't. And then uh, after we come back, there's probably do some more spotlights. Yeah. Um, then there's Casey's Gold. Yeah, we're be, looking forward to that at some yeah, point. Probably midsummer, nice. late late summer. Yeah. Uh, it was scheduled for June something, but I think they've taken down the dates off the website. Um, just to give themselves room. Hmm. Um, so I'm sure it's going to be at least uh, summer, fall at that point. Because the, the the Circus Convoy sold very well. So I think they're uh, encouraged. Hmm. I think it was Bob who hacked Stargate back into Defender. Oh, hmm. yeah, that's a very good hack, actually. 
Um, I usually don't go over hacks unless they're pretty transformational. And that one's pretty good. So that might get a mention, Yeah. that one, because it's kind of making one game into another game. And that's quite, quite a thing to do. Um, yeah, so thanks for hanging out with us. Yes, thank um, you. Hope you're enjoying your um, Easter weekend if you yeah, have some days, you have days off, off or you're your weekend, taking if you don't. part in religious things or you're just eating lots of chocolate. I hope you enjoy or your weekend cats. and petting cats. Yes. Uh, thanks for hanging out with us. Ice Bosta, Thrust, Dan AVC, Atari 2600, Dude, Vitoco 8 Bits, Cafe Man 2D, Propane 13 Real. Thank you so much for making that amazing game. Mm hmm. Uh, Happy Passover too to those who are celebrating. All that as the well. religious, all holidays. the religious spring stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, solstice already happened, right? That was March twenty first. I think so. Yeah. 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 That wasn't too long ago, I guess. Uh, Mike Soul, Smitty B seventy eight hundred, uh, Bido eight bit, Toga Mario, lots of new names. Yeah. Two bow. I mean, we're doing it during noontime. Yeah. So it's an unusual It's a totally time. different. <laughs> audience yeah um splendid nut did you mention toga mario uh, yet I already did. crossbow yeah here frozen well nice thanks for tuning in new name yorgi's castle new yep. name as well i've seen that name before. have you yeah okay natio 87 that's yeah. a new name uh gib girl Gib girl that's definitely a new name yes yeah Thanks for tuning in, yes. Carl G. Lots of lots of chatting. Milton Bradley, <gasps> the people who make the board game. Yeah. <laughs> Thank, and, and who made Vectrex. Ooh. Thanks for tuning in. Wow, yeah. it's an honor. Um, <laughs> and Blubberbotch <laughs> seventy three, yeah. right at the top, the last Excellent. person I was able to do. Yeah. Um, Atari twenty six hundred dude and, and Metal Atari as well. Oh, All you lurkers, lurkers in the background who don't yeah. chat too much but still That's like to watch. Fine. And everybody's yes. watching on YouTube. The after the fact. What's yeah. our special? Somebody actually typed uh, typed the code. Oh, did YouTube. they? Today it's going to be Totoro. Oh yes. That's the special word of the day. Yes. So if you're watching on YouTube, type Totoro if you've made it this far. I mean, this is the end. It's not really a good no. time to say that. Yeah. They just forward to the end. It's all good. Um, so we'll be back on Tuesday. Uh, thanks for tuning in, and we'll be back with. I think 2,600 games. Ooh, hunger. My belly. My belly just went. It's lunchtime. Ah, I'm so angry. <laughs> it's two, three o'clock. Almost three. Yeah. So we'll see you next time. Yes. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye, everyone.